ask you a question? Why you don't never play with my nipples? I got nipples too. It's my turn to get tied up. Not the handcuffs though. I got PTSD. Welcome to Heart of Soul, where men speak. So hopefully somebody will understand. Positive. We can do it if you want. We can do it anywhere. We start with this Usher lust. I don't know. I feel like that's trendy right now. Is it? Let me just like Usher. Do all Again. women like? Is Usher like one of the only men out here that can like? Sex like different generations of women. Like, is this a new generation thing? Is it an older? Because why are the new girls on Usher? It's only Usher. It's just Usher. It's just Usher. So he, the the twenty thirties and the forties and fifties, that everybody wants Usher. Yes. Is it because of Kiki? Paul no. Man? Fuck no. <clears throat> but so what did he do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> why are you saying Kiki Palmer? <laughs> it's, I'm what not saying she Kiki Palmer. She from she from the area. She from Chicago. She from Harvey or some shit like that. She from like a sub like around the Chicago land area. She's but from what the Chicago land. What do you do to get the younger the, 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 this new generation? Is it music? What is it? Yeah, I, like it's Usher. I'm well. Here's the thing. I grew up on Usher. Like Usher, baby. Um, I don't know. For me, Usher is timeless. Am I so? Hating? No, for you're curious. I just want to know because the, the he's like big it's Usher. Boy. Like Pause. that's always. <laughs> <laughs> um Sorry. for me usher is just timeless like he's that person where when you a little like when you young and you like looking at these superstars and you're admiring them and you crushing on them and then you get older and you like oh my god he's still fine like mm-hmm. and the music you you grow with the music mm-hmm. so I don't know. And plus, Confessions is like that album. You can't even talk to him about Confessions. Don't even talk to him about Why Confessions. Why you do? Yo. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm I still gonna, play the Confessions don't do album. That. Don't, don't. Can I let you on a secret, Jody? What's up? You got a problem you can't tell nobody. That's crazy. This is crazy. I just want to let y'all know. So we had the opposite a, in the room. We had a conversation, me and Tom. It's real. I'll be around right here. We had a conversation. <laughs> we had a conversation the other day, and I think we were speaking about R&B. Uh huh. Right? And then I said, yeah, because I hold Confessions as the greatest R&B project of all times. Like from beginning, like song one to song last. Okay. Everything is like, could be What's going up against it though? He said a couple, he said some bullshit. I ain't gonna say what he said. I didn't say anything. You said some bullshit. What did I say? And I ain't really shit going going up against confessions. But here's the thing. So it gets, the conversation gets even more interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what he said to me? What'd he say? I'm not making this up. 1000% serious. But why are we doing this? He said, I have never actually played the confessions album. Mind you, the album came out, no lie, 20 years ago. It came out 20 years ago? You've had 20 yeah. years and you've never played Confessions from... I've never know. played the Confessions album. I've heard every song off the Confessions album. It don't matter. I like the songs. I've never said... What's your favorite song on the Confessions album? I don't know. I don't know. You want me to ask? I don't know. This is... <laughs> I want to like end the episode. Like how, like, how do you not listen to Confessions, bro? Yeah. It's... I've had conversations with this in the So Shameless Discord about this, mm-hmm. and they all was like, that's the best R&B album of all time. Everybody mm-hmm. said it. It's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I just haven't gotten there to it yet. Yeah. Usher isn't my favorite. He's not like my favorite artist. Is he's that not- like saying Beyonce isn't your favorite artist? Is well, I mean, she's, not, not, she's, not, not. she's honestly not mine. I'm not. I, oh, I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate. Android? <laughs> <laughs> Have you watched Game of Thrones? <laughs> no. Yo, you actually might be on to something. <laughs> yeah. You might be. When did you get rid of your Android? 2014. Oh, you so actually owned an yes, Android before. Yes, this is a thing. You actually might be she, on to something. She's an she's a iPhone transplant. Yeah, you're not really like an Apple user. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> you saw her face? She said, wait, yeah. nigga, what? <laughs> is not... Because I don't dislike Usher. I just... It's, he's cool. He's like, you know, when it comes on, it's cool. But I don't, mm-hmm. you know, like let it burn and all that. It's cool. But I don't rush to hear Usher. Is that a problem? Same. I wouldn't say that I rush to hear Usher, but I do appreciate his music. Like, all right, so very much appreciate If somebody said that about Beyonce, I don't rush to hear Beyonce, but I appreciate her music. I feel the exact same way about Beyonce. I don't, I, I don't rush to listen to Beyonce. I feel like Beyonce is always forced up on me. Really? Mm. Yeah. Like the time where I would actually 
engage and take a step to listen to Beyonce, I was a teenager. We got to put a disclaimer in here that this is Beyonce slander at um. It's 16, not Beyonce slander. Minutes. It kind of is. Kind of. No, so like it's forced upon you. Yeah, that's girl. insane. Because I feel like a lot of music today is forced upon me. Because before I know it, it's a TikTok trend, and now I'm like, what song are they even like? Mm. moving to and now i'm listening to the song after the fact like Isn't i don't seek out no i seek out certain artists but you don't seek out beyonce i don't seek out beyonce why Ooh. i you don't innately don't like her no i have no issue with her <laughs> yeah, i don't like alicia keys you. Um, you don't want what you said about alicia keys i don't like her I said, like I, I personally oh because she's from chicago is she from chicago she's, she's from not from chicago she's from, she's from I, just the Bronx. Don't, I don't like her voice you don't like her voice? Yeah, I'm just not, don't like her. Not She's not someone that, like, you know, if I pass you to Oxcord and you play Alicia Keys, I'm probably putting you out the car. <gasps> oh, my God. Wow. I ain't going to front. I can't. She's from New York. I can't say that. What are you going to say? You agree? Not to that extreme. <laughs> That's actually crazy. But I will say is I don't there weren't there weren't too many times where I went on YouTube and typed in Alicia Keys. Yeah, like, like that's not something that and that's the thing, too. Mm-hmm. And that's, I'm glad you brought up YouTube because mm-hmm. I'm not someone who listens to music on YouTube often. I use my Apple Music app. But if I was to look for artists on YouTube, it yeah. definitely would not be Alicia like, Keys or Beyonce. That's how that's how I grade like artists. You know, like because you know we didn't necessarily have. And if I Apple do listen music, to if I do listen like to that. Beyonce, I'm going back to like so dangerously in love me, or something. How can you look at me crazy <laughs> when I say I haven't listened to Usher's? Conf- Fashions album, right? Yeah. When you actually have the same exact feeling about the biggest star, black woman star in the world today, you have the same exact feeling. But you look at me crazy because it's Usher. What? You should be able to relate. Nah, because she didn't say Usher. She just said Usher's project. That one project yeah, in particular just, project. just trumps. I'm not everything. searching I'm for like, just. Oh, did Usher come out with a new song this month? I'm not doing that with Usher. Yo, fun I honestly fact. feel like that's some Chicago shit too. Look. Like, don't nothing really like it take a lot to impress me. Mm. Like, I play a, like I feel like Chicago people play a lot of shit cool. Decent. It's like yeah, it was decent. Exactly. <laughs> like, instead of saying, "Oh my god, this is amazing," it's like yeah, that shit was decent. Yeah, that's, that's, that's y'all, y'all, y'all some y'all some like I ain't gonna be no groupie over this shit. No, can for we, real. Can we be sexual about this question? Go yes. ahead. We can be. What is impressive to you then when it comes to sex? If it's that, if everything is just kind of decent, what is an impressive <laughs> sexual maneuver slash experience that you hmm. that you've had? Um, what's a decent experience? What's impressive? Everything decent is that's great. Don't be there. I got some decent dick. No, nah, <laughs> yo, see, he decent missed, he, wait, wait, dick. Decent. Don't tell he me missed the story. You missed the story. Yeah, yeah. I was dealing with a Chicago chick, right? <laughs> Flew out here, was fucking with her. You know, made her some food and shit like that. So I asked her a couple, like I asked her about the state overall after she left. So I was like, yo, you know, like, so like, how was the food? You know, how was the sex? Is that the third? And she said, I ain't gonna lie, that dick decent. And I was like, <laughs> what do you mean it's decent? It's decent. <laughs> That's like, it. I'm like, decent, I'm like, I'm like, so I'm like, yo, like, what about you? Like, just decent? So in Chicago, it decent. Be- Decent is like fire, like in yeah. But if you say fine. decent, this got to be like some kind of glitter in the yeah. word decent. Capital like, that D, something. Decent. I was about to say, like, but that's the thing too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. sometimes it sexy. people do definitely put some finesse on it and be like, "Ooh, that shit decent." Oh, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you give it to me, it's like yeah. I know what you're trying to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, But you can't downplay decent. It can be like, yeah. nice nah, decent." Yeah, she's like, like down, like you know what I mean. It can't yeah. have some like some base on it. Like it's yeah. decent. Yeah, like decent. Like what? Come back. <laughs> Spin bring the block. Back. Yeah, yeah, nah. Spin the plane. If it takes it too long, <laughs> bring it back. You That's know what I'm funny. Saying? That's but funny. come on. Uh, okay, impressive. Uh, what's impressive? Yes. I'm an experimentalist, so I like when guys are open to that. I feel like, unfortunately, guys don't always have the luxury of being as experimental as women mm. because everything is seen as like, mm. wait. Sus. What's mm-hmm. yeah, like you sus, what's to you? Like mm-hmm. pause. <laughs> um what, what's to you? That's a that's a, yeah. that's a slang? Yeah, what's to you? What that mean? What does Is that you mean? cool? That's some Chicago shit? Yeah. Wait, oh shit. Okay, I'm speaking of Chicago, my bad. Um <laughs> No, but I like it. What's to you? Yeah, like what's to you? Yeah, like what's like so 
you can use it in you can use it in a couple different ways. Okay. It's it's okay. one of those words where it's like depending on the tone of like the tone in which you use it, that's gonna determine like how it's meant. So like if you say some shit that's pause, you be like, what's to you? Like oh, what, what you on? Yeah, like what are you it's on? Like, what you want? If a nigga cut you off for travel, yeah. yo, what's to you, nigga? Or if you like if you trying to J down or like talk to somebody, you'll be like, yo, what's to you? Mm. I'm trying to see what's to you. What's to you? Yeah, okay. so it's like it could be used in a lot of different ways. Okay, so, so yeah, I didn't realize I was speaking in Chicago. Nah, I bed. like that. Yeah. <laughs> what's that? Let me get, all right, so Gus, let's get back to your yeah. impressive maneuvers. So um. I like when guys are experimental. Uh, I also like when guys allow me to take control, mm. which doesn't happen often because I also want someone that's like super dominant, but it's like I want to kind of relinquish. I want you to mm-hmm. relinquish that control. Mm-hmm. I want you to, to me. yeah, trust like me. I want trust you to me. trust me enough to where it's like you just let go because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna betray your trust. Because mm-hmm. yeah, like I like that shit. It's mm-hmm. an ego stroke for me. I like shit like that. So when a guy is able to let go in a, and trust me in a moment, like, for example, this one particular guy, we had sex while driving. Mm. So he was like, she's like, so, so you're a switch. I am a switch. I am a switch. Thank you for noticing that. So this one particular guy, I told him, I was like, I want to rad you down Lakeshore Drive. Mm. So we hopped in a car. For those of y'all who can't understand what she said, she said, I want to ride you down Lakeshore Drive. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, like both ways. Ooh. So Say that. <laughs> Say that. All right now. So we in the car and he's like, What the fuck? Like, and mind you, it's not even like safe driving conditions, which mm. made me like, all right, we really doing it tonight. Mm. Like it's yeah. snowing. It's <gasps> <laughs> Oh, y'all you know Chicago is no different. So we're driving and it's snowing. He like, we gonna die. I say, shut up. Your only job is to keep a hard dick. That's all you have to do. I will do everything else. So he's sitting underneath me in the driver's side and like, I'm small, I'm petite. So mm-hmm. I'm on top of him and uh, we're driving towards like Lakeshore Drive uh, for anybody that's been to Chicago Expressway. Mm-hmm. So we get on the Expressway or whatever. And um, I put my car into cruise control. Mm. And then, like, I lift my legs up. And then I ride them until, like, we get to, like, stop signs and stuff like that. Or we going you over facing bumps. him or you facing him? No, I'm facing... Because I'm driving, too. Driving. So his oh. only job mm. is to keep a hard dick. That's literally... I'm like, you are only responsible for that. Because if I'm facing you, then now I'm putting more control in your hands. Because now you have to, you have to look right. in front of us. But I'm like, no, I got you. Mm-hmm. Trust me to have mm. you. But how can you focus on bouncing it with your... So you got one foot bouncing the other one on stop and start fast and yeah and stop. yeah Yo, you understand what i'm saying because one of her feet got to be accelerator brake yeah. yeah and Some, the other one is literally controlling all yeah. this that word you multitasker then she on the wheel i'm an expert multitasker uh, yes she is so we'll talk about that later <laughs> yo something about rod and dick but putting the indicator on just turn me on like, yeah so just, it was it was super lit uh it was it. <laughs> that nigga nasty, ain't it? Yeah. That so like, it was super lit. <laughs> <laughs> What's it to you? <laughs> What's it to you? Mm-hmm. Uh, it was super lit. It was super fun. It was what was dope about it was that it was an opportunity for me to show him something. I like mm-hmm. when I show someone who is typically in a dominant role mm-hmm. something. And of course, I kind of scared him a little bit, but I was like, <clears throat> "No, it wasn't that fun? We didn't die." So. Mm-hmm. I know you got something to say, Lou. Whenever you no, make that noise, no, 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 that means you, he's about to go. <laughs> go ahead. Pause. Um, I it's about to go. But it's mad funny that what you felt was impressive had to do with your own sexual talent. Because it allowed me... See, I feel like with men, oftentimes they want to be in control so much. Mm-hmm. Even when you think about how society views sex, mm-hmm. it's essentially as something that men do to women. Not as something that we participate and experience together. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get into like slut shaming and all that other Mm -hmm. bullshit or whatever. But for a man to kind of like, all right, cool, I'm I'm the man, I'm the masculine person, I'm in this dominant role. But for you to give me that control, that is amazing. And it doesn't happen often. There's this scene in Game of Thrones, first season, Mm -hmm. where uh, his name, I think, was Khal Drago. Mm -hmm. He was like this barbarian. And... 
his wife, he had, he had taken like a 12, 13, 14 year old young girl to be his wife. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. never had sex before. Aquaman. Ooh. Right? Aquaman. Right. Mm -hmm. She had never had sex before. Mm -hmm. And every night he would come in, climb on her, and she'd just be like, because he'd just do the do and, you know, roll over and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So she went to talk to somebody about, you know, she wants to have, she wants to get to him. She wants him to love her. He, you know, it's cold right now. Mm -hmm. And the woman told her, like, you have to own your sexuality. You have to make him want you make him desire you so one night he comes in and he like lazily takes off his thing and he goes to like roll her on her on her hands and knees i believe it was mm -hmm. and he goes to put it in she's like no and he's like she's like Ur? and remember they don't speak the same language mm -hmm. she speaks valerian he speaks i was gonna say but no Persian. me like that no, shit still right? mean no in and whatever like, language but he's a barbarian right so he's like man and she's like no and then she puts her hand on him and she says, lay down. And he's looking at her like, okay, what the fuck? And she slowly starts like coaxing him, rides him, and he's like, oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he yeah. just kind of melts that's in, it. in her. So it, is that the, almost the same exact yes, that's, thing? Yes, that's exactly it. Because sometimes I will do something for the shock factor mm -hmm. because... Again, a lot of people are out here having like average, mm -hmm. regular, degular ass sex, mm -hmm. right? But it's super refreshing when someone does something that you don't expect. Mm -hmm. So that's where you get into like heightened sexual experiences where it's like, oh, was the sex good or was it like the experience was, mm -hmm. you know, like the difference between a motherfucker having good dick or good pussy versus like having amazing sex totally Crazy. different things Crazy. and for me it's all about the experience because i'm like look i know for a fact mm -hmm. if you let me do what i do you're always gonna think about me mm -hmm. and that's that's super powerful I, I feel you there i feel you there loon you you had something to say at some point mm -hmm. you let it go mm -hmm. um <laughs> i want to talk about this a little bit go ahead and i'm sure i'm sure loon is gonna be like what because that's his job here him and his batman glasses Cyclops. Um, Cyclops. Cyclops. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like some damn granny glasses. Like, you've been getting in trouble. Like, excuse me. What's it to what you? What you say? What to you? It's what's to you. What's to you? You use, you're missing too many. You're using too many words. Sorry, I'm, I use, proper, I use proper English. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what's to you, my nigga? Like, what? Ah, now, Dafraki. Right. Thank you, yo yo. Mm. Um, if I may. Now, I've spoken to you before about certain things I was going to speak about. Yes. Right? You have huge breasts. They're really nice. I do. <laughs> I'm really a nice. little person with these I ain't gonna huge... lie. I took them glasses all the way. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> I personally am a breast man. I'm also an ass man. Mm -hmm. But I do not discount my love for a decent sized mammary gland. Okay? Mm -hmm. I believe the mammary gl glands are something that men and women can both say we appreciate. Agreed. Mainly because, and this is all theory, it's the one thing in life we all wanted from birth. <laughs> it's the first thing you love. I haven't thought about it. It's yes. the first thing you want. It's like, even before you even know this lady, you know she has the milk. <laughs> she has the food. The peas fam. And it doesn't, yeah, you don't even. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I saw an open. I saw an open. So stupid, Top Boy. Shout out to Top Boy. Shout out to Top Boy. But before you even know what she looks like, before you even really were able to recognize synapses between your eyes and what you're seeing, and you know what I mean? Uh huh. You're looking, when that thing hits your mouth, <laughs> you start sucking on that thing. You're in oh. bliss. You're absolutely in bliss. You ever uh -huh. seen a crying ass baby? Pop a titty in the mouth. Pop a titty in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think this is also why. I had a little theory, Melly. This is why women can love women even if they're not heterosexual, even if they're heterosexual. Because they already have love for that thing that is the first thing they've ever loved. I know, Melly, it's the stupidest thing I've ever said. 
Anytime mm-hmm. I see someone sad, I hug them. Like put them titties on me. Yeah. And they get immediately. It's like, oh my god, the titties is on me. Mm-hmm. But there is a stigma against titties. Loon, you have a titty fuck. Yes. You've titty fucked. Yeah. Mad did she titty fuck you or did you titty fuck her? How is she <laughs> gonna titty fuck me? What the fuck? What's to you? No, what's what to I'm this say- nigga? What's to you? What That's I'm saying funny. is, did you grab her shit? Oh, and okay. yam yam, or, nah. or did she, she initiate it? She took them uh, things uh, and was it's funny. You know what's funny? Cause she was sucking my dick and titty fucking me at the same time, son. Uh-huh. I was a goner. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not even a titty. I was. Listen, she's the person who put but, me on the titties. I, I was about to say, but she, she did something it. different that you're yeah. not used to. She she put me on to some titties. I had a chick. I was tough recently. I'm not even gonna do the eons thing that you do. I that was, was Eon Zagoto. That was Eon <laughs> Fuck me with the titty. So she can't, I guess maybe my dick ain't as big enough <laughs> to get titty and suck. Yeah, you two time. hand sleep jerker. <laughs> she wasn't doing all that. You know what I'm saying? So she, she was just rubbing her shits on my shit. Mm-hmm. And then she like spit on my shit as she going. And she just kept spitting on it. <laughs> Bro, it, it was, was the a- nastiest, wettest, fierest. And it wasn't even no head, but it felt like head. Mm-hmm. It felt like it was fire. She just kept spitting on my shit. Mm-hmm. By the mm-hmm. way, that's one of my tips. Ladies, keep spitting on that shit. That shit fire. <laughs> Give me your tip from now. Keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. We going <laughs> in. Getting this out the way from now. <laughs> Jody, what's up with you and titty fucking? You into it or not? Mm-hmm. I've never had it done. No way. Yeah, nobody has ever titty fucked me. Not miss driving on the dick. Yeah, like I would want to do that. But I feel like I run into guys where we doing different shit and I don't know if that just crosses their mind. Like I've had a guy where he was into my feet and I was like jacking him off mm. my feet. Mm. So it's like, oh, okay, this is cool. I'm with this. So you mean uh, to tell me <laughs> you got parallel park pussy, but you ain't never titty fuck? Not a triple P. I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. I do have parallel park pussy. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. It goes, but so like it's like you just. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm confused though, Loon. Yeah, I'm so, confused because do you mind real quick if ahead, I just. Yeah. I'm laying on the bed. You want to give me head? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Game is on. Hopefully, it's not the Giants. We're doing horrible this year. <laughs> or the Jets. The Jets been doing all right, but that that. So that's, that quarterback is horrible chill but out, chill out. you watching <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm watching the game you like just do you I just want to <laughs> right mm-hmm. what's stopping you from just wrapping your titties around his dick nothing is and stopping me shit and no, just doing like, some shit that he's never seen before this, yeah. why does it have to be him doing it if it's something that you want yeah like I feel like for me I be so focused on I like dick and mouth Facts, me too. Me so, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, with you. No, hey, with you. like, I like dick and mouth. So, I'm focusing on sucking, going for the gooch, like, <clears throat> balls. I'm all there with it. I don't even think to incorporate my titties. But now, like, this combo. hell yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I have to, I have to, just to see a different, re- like, because I love when. How much can you suck dick before your face hurts? I, I don't get locked, y'all. So, yes, you could just keep going? Yeah. Mm. All right, what were you saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, I have a, a playlist, so I be... Look a little. <laughs> so I was looking at the jaw, just... Yeah, this is... X-rays, X-rays. I was X-ray. going to say, no, I have Looking a nice at the jaw. jaw. Looking at, you, very yeah. nice, very Definitely. nice. Yeah, nice, nice. neck, nice jaw. Yes. Um, I so... <laughs> sentiment, exactly. I don't get locked, y'all. a huge mouth. I do have a huge go, mouth. Go, I go out. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. Ooh. God damn wait. that thing. Huge. I was not the right Look box. at that. Let me, let's, oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. It's funny because mm. I feel like all my friends were sucking dick before me. And then. Yeah, play catch up. You're not being last at the party. I was last at the party. But then I like, mm. I caught up real quick. Yeah. I let clearly. Yeah, I because I didn't know I had a knack for it until I did, and once I realized, I was like, "Oh wait, I got talent." Was it the mouth, the neck? What was it? It was 
So initially I didn't have the passion for it. So I feel like that's how you get luck luster hit when mm. it's like you're not truly invested. Please speak on that to the ladies that don't have the passion. Yeah, yeah like you have to suck dick like your life depend on it. And that's what I do because I love it so much now. Mm -hmm. But go back like 10 years, I was like, I suck dick like you at the border. Yeah, like it, I, I, I did it like it was a chore. Like mm -hmm. I suck dick like it was a chore and I don't want to do anything sexually like it's a chore. But so. what, okay. So ladies that are out there that don't like sucking dick, they want to do it, they don't like it. Like what's the difference? Like give them a, a number one in the manual. You're saying they have to do it with passion. Yes. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What's it, what's something they can do tonight? What is it? Oh, okay. Put on your favorite song. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a music girl. So if I have on a song that like I'm super vibing with, it makes me feel sexy. Mm -hmm. That's going to like literally I'm mimicking the beats with like my head mm -hmm. motion and my throat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like I tell people, I like to do throat choreography. Why are you making that face? What is throat choreography? So you got Tiana Taylor in your throat? She be dancing in there? Yeah. She doing it. You got Usher Raymond in your throat? <laughs> so uh, both of them are actually on my dick sucking playlist. So I have a playlist. Wait, wait, you have a dick suck, so not a love making playlist. So your love, your love, your love making playlist and your yeah, dick sucking fire. playlist two different playlists? Yeah, she's fire. <laughs> she's so what, what I'm yeah. gonna need you to do for us, you're gonna have to sh if it's okay with you, if it's not yeah. too too intimate. Yeah. Can you share I got a lot dick? of like K Kemp and Chris Brown on my dick sucking playlist. Give me a file. Like Meet me up here, right here. I like the uh variance of the beats. Like if you pay attention to those songs, and it's funny because like what determines if I add a song to like my dick sucking playlist, I'll be like driving and stuff and I'll be like Mm. Oh my mm. god! And I'm like, yeah, that's oh. going on there. Yeah. She took dancing yeah, on the dick. She took <laughs> dancing on the dick yeah. to a whole new level. <laughs> so you have to think about it like that. You have to, you have to have fun. It should be fun for you. Mm -hmm. If <clears throat> this is the person that you vibing with, because I, I want to say that y'all have to be in a relationship because I did ass suck dick that I was not tied to, but it was just more of like a, oh, I got you. You're always gonna think about my throat every time you see me. Mm. So it's a lot of power in that. Like literally, I've like sucked guys dick that I did not have sex with, mm. and it's like they long for a pussy because mm. they've hit the throat. So they like, if that's the throat, like I want to mm. see the pussy, like mm -hmm. so. And it's like, ha ha, because you mm. won't get it. You're always yeah. gonna, your mind yeah. is gonna wonder. Wait, so. hold on a second. Let me let me get this one off. Before yeah. I forget. I need you to walk me through something. Go ahead. So when you said you fucked on the freeway, yes, right, but you never titty fucked before. Uh huh. In my head, the first thing that came to my mind was, yo, how could you go so far out, but just like skip the little things? You know what I'm saying? I'm extreme. So I'm all right. So w here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Now what I want you to tell me is, do you feel like there's a lot of basic shit that you probably never did? Yes. But you got all the extreme shit off your checklist? Yeah. So what are some basic things I mean, that I we would probably be shocked fucking, you didn't do? Um, because parallel parking is crazy to not be titty fucking. Um, I ain't gonna hold you. Most of us have not titty fucked. Real? I don't. I never cared for it. When Shorty you. did it, I was... And I want you to keep thinking about your answer, but mm -hmm. when Shorty did it, I realized that, for one, I never felt comfortable doing it. I never really knew how to do it. Like that would make me feel, you know what I'm saying? Most of the things I do, I still got it. It's because as gay as I be on this show, <laughs> most of my real sex life has to be very heterosexual. Yeah. And give it some balance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I uh, just never really, you know, I don't know how to request it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do, like you do something with a woman and she's not into it. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, put them in between your titties and she's looking at you like, nigga, what? What's to you? Like what? <laughs> What's to you? <laughs> is that the title? What's to you? Is that the title? Uh, yeah, but so so yeah. I, most people, and I remember that it being a trend on Twitter that titty fucking was very weird. It's like, why are you doing that? I have a pussy right here. I have a mouth right here. Like, what is this? I don't get no pleasure from it. Yeah, I feel like anything outside of typical dick pussy penetration, mm -hmm. a lot of people consider it weird. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I would say that because now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like because I'm small and I'm a petite person, I always feel like, irregardless of how big my titties are, mm -hmm. I just thought titty fucking was not for me. 
Mm. Like, that's not something that I even really considered until more recently where I'm like, oh, wait, like, this is probably my lane. Like, I thought it was more of like, you know, the the more the juicier girls, because mm-hmm. I'm a very I'm a very medium sized ass motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm five feet. I'm one hundred and thirty pounds. Like, and then I got triple D's, which is like <laughs> just throws it off a little bit. Nah, you cool. So. For me, I just never looked at that as part of like, oh, this. But now, again, Jesus, D. <laughs> it is you saw I, I was like, D, D, and another D. <laughs> Triple D Whoa. batteries is tough. That's crazy. <laughs> My remote will never die. Mm, that's but, me. Um, yeah, like I'm okay. So definitely never titty fuck. I would definitely. It, there's the things that I haven't done. I would dead ass try. Except mm-hmm. I'm not with anything with feces. That's like my boundary. So like, like, yeah. Do do you go as far as like ass eating? Is that is that for you? Um, I have not done it. Mm-hmm. I would do it. Okay, I respect that. Would so, it wow you out if a guy just did it to you? Just, oh, I be getting my ass ate. So why you ain't do it back? Double standards. But what's to you? <laughs> and the thing is in Chicago I run into a lot of motherfuckers that don't even be wanting me to go to the gooch so if I can't go to the gooch you're not letting me towards your asshole mm-hmm. so with that once I I'm like alright cool I'm like getting the lay of the land seeing what mm-hmm. my boundaries are having communications with you to know what your boundaries are and I be asking guys like you know what are you into and mm-hmm. the one guy that i know was into ass eating he would even he would not actually say it out loud like he kind of did yeah. some shit that made me know like oh you into this you into this shit like we was I- fucking <laughs> and he like scooted towards the edge of the bed like mm-hmm. this context clues bit. yeah i'm like mm-hmm. i ain't going front <laughs> Chicago give me like very, very, very toxic masculinity. When I think about them as a region, like they just mad. Well, that's because we hear what we hear on social media. Have you been to Chicago? Once. Yeah. Like there's a whole area that is mm-hmm. not 63rd. <laughs> I'm not, not 63rd. from 63rd. It's, it's like there's a whole. I stay by 63rd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Relax. <laughs> but, but hey. Now, I'm from Inglewood, so I'm right about, there. <laughs> let's speak about this Gooch talk. And I'm getting yeah. back to this titty talk. Because of course, talk. I have a video. You don't say. Let's, 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 let me hear what these guys I don't like a girl on the gooch too long. Some girls give too much gooch time. I'm not with all that 30 <laughs> seconds on the gooch. Get a gooch 10 seconds, get back to the So day. if they too long on the gooch, do you have to like forcefully? Because you know, I'm sometimes... already forcing because I either got her by her hair, ears, or neck. So I'm moving you back up. Please, so... all that one minute on the gooch, you hitting the gooch on your men. I'm not asking I mean, for the streets. I have not hit the gooch. What do you mean? I'm a Gucci gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> What's Gucci, my nigga? <laughs> that is a show called. What is this show called? Uh, c- c- let's talk about it over cocktails, Carly. I don't know what. It's so long as name. Cocktails with Carly. I think I don't know. Something okay. Like Me personally, I'm the opposite. You can spend as much time down as you want, and you can go lower. I kind of don't like the fact that you spend too much time in the Gucci and you ain't getting down to the to the nitty gritty. Yeah, I agree with him. You it, yeah, get some things down and get down there. Go ahead, mm-hmm. guys. Have some fun. I've been getting more, way more flexible. <laughs> you be doing your yoga. I'm a you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm with this shit. Stop playing around right there. Why are you stopping? If people go down to the gooch, you know you want to do more. Go ahead, go ahead. What you waiting for? You know, when he said it, I thought about it. I kind of halfway agree with him, halfway agree with you. I don't like the gooch for the simple fact that I rather There's just an eat, asshole right there, right? Eat my ass. <laughs> eat my ass or suck a dick. But this Gucci shit is mad immature. Why are you? Why are you? Like, in, like, pick a side. You're in ass like, are you crazy? My nigga, like, why are you in Switzerland? Like, no, pick a side. <laughs> this is not my Gucci is not Switzerland. You either eat an ass or suck a dick. What's the Switzerland shit you going with? Man, what the fuck is that? So it was mutual grounds? Fuck out of here, nigga. This is war. Pick a shot, nigga. Oh, my. What the fuck is you doing? What? Switzerland. That what are you doing? Crazy. This is crazy. Like and oh there are a God. lot of nigga, guys <laughs> that would, again, yeah. like, Pick a the side. gooch is probably, like, they like, look, just like he was saying on the video, like they don't really feel comfortable with that. So for me, the fact that I got to a point where I'm like, oh, okay, cool, a guy's cool with that. Let me see how else I can play with this area. Like, like I'm gonna grab, huh? You don't like turning guys out? Yes and no. Please. So yes, because again, it does something for my ego. Girl. I like the fact that you are willing to try this with me. On the other hand, I don't. It's 
it gets time consuming to be your first freak. Mm. And Ooh. that's not what I don't want to be your first. Mm -hmm. Like, I want you to already kind of like be there a little bit because Sorry. now, all right, I'll show you something, you show me something. I'll show you something. I cannot be the one driving the whole time. Mm -hmm. I just don't like it. I get that. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that I enjoy somebody that I like mm -hmm. enough to show them new things. Facts. I have to like you though, right? You can't just be a sexual partner. So there's a difference. If you're just a sexual partner, I've definitely been cutting people off that I'm like, you know what? This isn't doing anything for me. I'm showing you all my stuff and you're just soaking it up. And then you're No, for real. More. Yeah. It's like, all right, but you're not, I'm not even nothing. This some yeah. new shit you want? Doing, huh? Some new shit you want? Yeah. Um, okay. We should be I, we, you can, I could talk about this. Yeah. Well, do I mind talking about it? We don't have to talk about what are you talking about. But that's very So I, I'm going to talk you. about it. That's only because I think that it's important. Okay. Even though it's kind of risque for me to say. So you want to cut this put on Patreon? This segment? We could, we could do clips on Patreon too if you want. All right. Let's just cut this and put... No. You know what? Let's just do it and we'll think about it later. But All right. 47 <laughs> minutes. 47 minutes. All right. So <clears throat> a young lady hit me up. Um, we had had sex recently and she said to me, um, when's the last time you got tested? It was, I was befuddled because we use condoms. She was like, you know, didn't, did we use condoms the whole time? And I was like, yeah, like, so I don't, you know, I don't know, but I mean, you gave me head, but she's like, yeah, well, I have a burning sensation when I pee and my lips are numb and, and, and my throat is hurting. And I was like, oh my God, my stomach, bro. When you say that, now I had just gotten tested maybe a couple weeks prior. Mm -hmm. I've been getting tested every month. You know what I'm saying? Just well, just off of, just off of life. Just like, you know what? You know, I had caught COVID or I had caught a cold and I went to go see if it was COVID. Is that COVID so or went, chlamydia? It was cold, right? So, <laughs> ah, COVID or is chlamydia, COVID chlamydia is crazy. <laughs> crazy. So I went just to see if I had COVID while I was there. I was like, yo, just give me that. Shout out to you for being responsible. Boom. Shout out to you for being responsible. So I did have that, and but it's still, you never know, right? You mm -hmm. get head, you could do anything, can happen. Mm -hmm. Um, so my stomach, like, God, bro, I'm like, fuck. I know that man. feeling. You know, because you know I'm doing play parties. I'm mm -hmm. having you know, these all these um, instances with, with with ladies, and um, so she's like, yo, I can't um, go to the doctor right now. I'm on my period. Mm -hmm. They're not going to let me take a STD test right. or something like that. I don't know what ladies go through, but she's saying that. Yeah, because they got to, like, swab you, and it's like they swabbing blood at Man, that point. Man, catch up on the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, to, she, to, to keep it real with you, she was like, um, I'm bleeding down there, and I am also have, like, I'm spitting up blood. I was like, bitch, Whoa, spitting up blood? Like, hey. I said, like, <laughs> no, for real. Like, I hope oh, you stayed fuck. off Google because they would have told you, like, you got 72 hours to live. Yeah, like, work. This bitch is you, ever, you ever been feeling some shit and go to Google? Oh, my God. Man. But the thing is. You got cancer, AIDS. <laughs> she, she told me that she hadn't had sex in a while. Uh-huh. And I think I spoke to y'all about this. Yeah. I spoke to y'all about this. I started using the dildo on her. So I started hitting her with the dildo and I'm rubbing her G-spot with the dildo. The dildo is very curved. So I'm able to like hit the G-spot with she it. She might have experienced some abrasions just because so of the fact that it's been so, so long. long right? And, so that's what and I was you thinking. didn't use lube, did you? Yeah, of course. You used lube and she, well, I mean. It happens. happens. Yeah. yeah. I'm the yeah. king. Sure. Okay. Get the butter. Um, but that don't have nothing to do with it. I didn't shove the dildo down her throat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spitting up blood is crazy. And then the burning sensations that. and all of these things, you know. So, you know, part of me was like, okay, but I did use the glass dildo, which is not, it has no give. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it could be hitting the wrong spot. Yeah. So, you know, but the other things that she was saying were very concerning. She couldn't go get a uh, test. So... I was like, all right, Monday, I'll go get a test. Now, she's hitting me. I'm hitting her the next day like, hey. It's just very nervous. Hey, like, hey, how are you? How's everything? Getting tested through someone else is crazy, though. Well, she was going to go when she stopped bleeding. Yeah. But I was like, I'm going to go first. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to wait. Exactly for but that, even exactly still, reason. like, regardless of your results, like, you say, like, you still spitting up blood. Right. <laughs> That's why. I so, she shit. was going to, yeah, she told me she was going to go to the doctor whatever i don't remember mm -hmm. whatever so um 
at least two days went by for whatever reason before I could go to urgent care. <sighs> Every day I was calling. I even called in the morning. I went to urgent care to make sure she was like, she's like, yeah, the cut, blood, it's not really bleeding, but yeah, the, the burning is still there and da, da, da. I get to urgent care and I walk in and I go to register and my phone ring and I get a text from her. Hey, call me right now. Oh my God. Bro, I could die. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I could die. Why bro. are you doing this to me? I'm like, bro. bro I'm like, bro. I'm just like. Really? So I step to the side before I register and I call her. I'm like, hey, uh, what's, what's up? up? Yeah, everybody here is nervous. What's right? to you? And um, what's to you? <laughs> what's to you? <laughs> and you know, I'm just like, you know, hey, uh, what's up? And she's like, well, um, remember the day before I came to you, I told you that I had to go to the doctor um, because I was feeling like I had a UTI. They told me that I didn't have it when I was there, but they still went the results, sent the results away to get tested. Well, the results just came back, and I have a UTI. And uh, the symptoms, being that it's been a while, include numbing lips or, um, hold on. The, yeah, she says something about a numbness of the lips and mm -hmm. burning sensation. and Like, I mean, all, all of, of that things. sounded like UTI until she said she was spitting up blood. Well, uh, she, she actually had strep, too. Nigga, so she wait. So you mean to tell me I had to get tested she for accused strep. you of some shit? I had to get tested for strep, and then I had strep too. So she actually gave so, me some shit. So she <laughs> burnt you. You burnt the homie. She literally, yeah, she gave it. Now I'm sitting here taking the moxicillin, fucking Look twice a stupid. day. You're too old to be getting strep, bro, man. But at the end of the day, is the reason I'm bringing it up is I just it really made me uncomfortable. Yeah. And since I broke up, I've been wild, right? I've been like, mm -hmm. yo, this girl, and I did this, and I did this. Mm -hmm. And I just, it just really made me take stock into, like, first of all, nigga, you, some, you got, you can't, where you are right now? Can't be moving like that. You can't, can't be, be just, crazy. what if you would have gave Shorty something? Yeah. Like, what if, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What if you had it? Because what if you got it from Shorty from her and you yeah. ain't gonna get tested immediately the minute you got had head from her or mm -hmm. gave her or whatever, then you went to somebody else. It's like, yo, so you gotta be a little bit more cautious. selective and cautious mm -hmm. about your movements. Yeah. You know, and I have access to a lot. Doesn't mean a lot has to have access to me. So I've been chilling. Like I've been real life chilling lately. So That's you know, good. I wanna I wanna sit here and laugh at you. It's fine. You know, but I'm not going to, I'm going to be a real nigga. I'm going to be a real nigga. I have a similar story. I got a similar story. There was a time um, where I was fucking multiple chicks at one time. And one I was using protection with, the other one I wasn't. You know, and um, I remember I caught neck from this one chick. Whatever. Caught neck like it's an STD. Caught, caught neck like, <laughs> like, like a moss. It's crazy. Like, yeah, it was an accident. Sorry. Caught caught it. Is this yours? No, right. <laughs> Sorry. This yours is crazy. You know? <laughs> so, um, so I ain't think nothing of it. So I want to say, maybe about a week and a half or like two weeks later, I get like an itching sensation like by my not really oh, on my geez. crotch bone, like on the line, like my like my boxer line, like mm. between my thigh and like my Nigga pelvic area. Clap. So I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? I'm like, all right, it'll go away, whatever. Doesn't go away, you feel me? So like, it's not really, like I Google, I ain't gonna lie, I'm on Google, like yo, what the fuck does herpes look like anyway? So I look and I'm like, well, it doesn't quite look like that, but what the fuck is this? So I'm just letting it go, I'm letting it go. Mm -hmm. Days turn into a week kind of like got worse so i'm like nah what the fuck is this so now i'm sitting here i'm thinking and i'm just like damn nigga like what if you got that shit you know like you out here just fucking mad bitches and you just moving crazy like you just, catch your, you just catch your neck and shit like that you know what i mean so scary, you know and, but this is, is what i'm this is what i'm saying I'm but you feeling it though you get that nuts. but you get because that there's no accountability it. there I and i love, that. I love it so you, you get that feeling in your stomach i just got mad anxiety and yeah. i'm just nervous yeah. like i'm going to school when my homework not done like oh shit mad what empty the fuck is this <laughs> shooting blanks out my asshole nigga. <laughs> So, um, so I go to the doctor and he said I have what's called jock itch. So pretty much jock itch is something that you get from like when you wear. It's fungus. 
Something like that. But like it's like when your gym clothes is like on you and it's moist and it's hot and it's oh, moisture. Mm-hmm. Out. Yeah. So I had that and I was like, woo, thank God it's only fungus. But I will say that being in those kind of situations, it do forces you to do something that men usually don't do, and that's exercise sexual responsibility. You know what I mean? So I ain't gonna hold you. Like, did, like word for word what you said. Just because I got access to it don't mean it got to have access to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I Love honestly it. been moving a little. I ain't going for I'm not even selling dick, but I dead ass do be trying to be a little bit more cautious and selective now that I'm getting older. But getting strep throat at 40 plus is crazy. You too much Almost 50. But you know, Jesus somebody in the, in the chat says, the first step is minimizing the stigma behind STIs. It would make this stuff so much easier. Um, Tia, uh, I agree with you so much, right? Um, about that, but it still doesn't lessen my take on personal responsibility. Right. With who I deal with and excuse me, how I affect them health wise. You know, it's just especially with where I'm at in the game, especially in this sex world. I'm I'm a sex worker. I would assume at this point, you and I we have we talk about sex. We you know do the things that we do. We got a little fleshy pussy over here right here. Look at this. Excuse me, what the fuck? It's a fleshy pussy. Is that an artificial p- pussy? It's my is that an AP? All oh, right, it's an AP. I heard an AI, but that's an AP. Man I just feel like I, I just feel like I, you know where I'm at in the game. I have a lot more responsibility than other um, people. I I assume more responsibility because just I'm just a man, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, everything else is it's, it's everybody has choices. I have the same choices as anybody else. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I, I just want to you know be a little bit more responsible. With the, with the things that I do um, I would add on to <clears throat> what you guys said In terms of It's not just a responsibility For your health But it's also a responsibility For the emotional And mental That comes with having sex With different people as well mm-hmm. Because that shit could get draining mm-hmm. On your emotions, <laughs> on your mentality Like yeah, yeah In a moment that shit lit But then it's like Damn, do mm-hmm. I really like now? I got to deal with what comes after that, and mm-hmm. that's where aftercare mm-hmm. comes into effect as well. Yeah. So, you know, taking care of yourself doesn't just mean getting tested. It also means having conversations about you know the the stuff the stuff that motherfuckers don't want to talk about mm-hmm. the stigma associated with these tough conversations like, like that's, strep throat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now when a motherfucker call you, it's like, damn, bitch, give me AIDS. Like, yo, stop this... with the magic. That's talk. what I'm saying. Like, do a motherfucker like, is this the end for me? Like, the end old be old. Yeah. So you know, one thing I do want to say, Tahoe does a good job about. Um, we actually spoke about this some months ago. You know, um, we said, yo, you know what? It's no longer a podcast. It's a show. And due to the fact that it is a, a male sexual led show, we have to start covering on topics that go beyond just the viral memes and clips that you guys see. For mm-hmm. sure. Which is why I'm so happy that we are even having this segment right here to even this speak about good. sexual responsibility, you know, and taking accountability and being an adult and just overall just considering other people and doing things like that. Like I like the fact we implement that in this. So yeah. we see that as well. Accountability. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We talk mm-hmm. sex, love, relationships, and accountability in this podcast. And Tatiana and I agree. The reason why I didn't want to put it on Patreon is because I do want the masses to hear this. Yes. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? This is something that guys, women, we need to all just focus on being a little bit more responsible. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, people ask me all the time, yo, do y'all do STD testing for the, for the play parties? And I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. I don't do that because there's a personal responsibility there. Plus, I don't want to be responsible for your results. Now, I got yeah. your results and you're scared. What if something happens? Exactly. I don't want you thinking that I'm the one who put the shit over Twitter. here or over there. Mm-hmm. That's your personal it's a business. Violation. I don't want you feeling, but that is oh, something shit. that if you are engaging with somebody, you have the right to say, hey, mm-hmm. when's the last time you've been tested? I've been tested, you've been tested, we're good. You know what we I'm saying? We have to. Or have a certain conversations. But I do not want to house all of these people's things. You know what? I because agree. that's your sense. That's the sense. That's mad mm-hmm. sensitive information. For mm-hmm. sure. If you are not comfortable enough to ask a person when was the last time they've been tested and are you, you know, like share your results, then you probably shouldn't be fucking them anyway. That's like it. that's what it comes down to. I feel like because there's so much embarrassment and shame associated with Just sex that people, you, you literally dick and pussy with a person, but you don't want to. Like don't clam up now, motherfucker! Like don't clam up now. I'm gonna keep it hundred. I forgot which one of the parties we was at. 
But one of the young ladies that ass did come to me and told me that she did have something. I forgot what it was, mm-hmm. but you know, she said she had some shit. I probably I ain't gonna lie. I personally never heard about the shit. You feel I'm mm-hmm. like, but I respect the fact that she told me she had something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, we went about our business the way we went about our business. Grown men, shit. You know what I'm Grown saying? Grown people, but shit. But it is, but it is, Um, I dead ass did respect the fact that she was open. And she's like, yeah, you know, well, she had some shit that's down the third. At least give me the option to walk away. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I, listen, regardless of what you do after somebody tells you they have something, it's really solely up to you. You know, if you want to do that, cool, fine, whatever. But I respect the fact. I think we need to normalize to like, that. You know? Like we, everybody yeah, just yeah. gotta. When's the last time you been tested? Mm-hmm. Like the more we normalize that, it's gonna get to a point where people are just volunteering. And it shouldn't not, have to be after you feel. <laughs> it. Yeah. Because she came to me after she felt away. Facts. Never said that beforehand. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all see me, I'm, Mr. Skin. I'm condomed up. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I'm double, you know what I mean? Double yeah, fisted with the sure. condom. All right, enough of the sexual um, responsibility shit. Can we talk about some ratchet shit? Well, I did have a video I want to show y'all. Can I ask you a question before you start the video? And I want you to be honest. I have a few videos, but yes. I don't want you to lie to me. Jody, yes. don't lie to me either. Y'all ever ate like smiley, pr- y'all, y'all ever like performed oral on smelly private parts? No. So like you ever was like with a chick and her shit smelled a little right, but you down there so you just had to do it? I cannot see it through my boy. So what do you do? What do you do? You, do? you, you just put the dick back in the pants? Like, oh, I gotta go? Like, Box, do you eat pussy? I have. But right, you're not a pussy eater. No. Okay. I'm a pussy eater. Yeah. I'm not <sighs> a I'm not a I'm not a pussy eater. I have I have you've ate there. Yeah, I've ate there. I ate there before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been to Denny's. I've been, <laughs> I've been to that Coochie Cafe. Um <laughs> Coochie Cafe is bad for the <laughs> That's hilarious. Man. Yeah, I've been to the Coochie Cafe, but can we write that down? Coochie Cafe, <laughs> I went to the Coochie Cafe, yeah. yeah, or Parallel Park. And Eating pussy. at the Parallel Coochie Park Cafe. pussy is that's I like that. I like it so Parallel bad. P P P. But um, I've never encountered like super smelly dick. So thank mm. you to. Cause all, I guess the bros we just sweat. that yeah. yeah we just sweat a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah motherfuckers do be a sweaty napkin, we and I will say this like I feel like when I first started sucking dick I dealt with that more than in this age mm-hmm. where it's like I don't know I just come into some you know very well groomed penises and I love that for me <sighs> I have come into contact with some box that I was not too excited to eat. Yeah, and I have found, being that we're speaking on the conversation of having certain conversations like that are uncomfortable. Sure. Yeah. How do you tell somebody, hey, your box stinks. This pussy don't smell all right. It's, it's something going it on. Smells here. like pussy down here. It might. It, it smell. Yeah. This is not cool. Mm-hmm. There's a discharge here. Like, it's a very uncomfortable conversation for me to tell a woman. Yeah. Being that that's your. Box. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be. I was about to say, and that's the thing too, because I just I don't speak on other people's coochie See? because exactly. Me, I, I, I don't can't. Want to. You I have can't. It. You know like, it. and that's and that's that that was the point I was going for because it's like as a woman, I feel like we should always be self conscious about how our shit, you know, is, mm-hmm. and a lot of women are, and that's why they don't always like you know like to like. I feel like people would be surprised how often women don't like to receive hit because they are self-conscious about it. But at the exact same time, I think it's super important to just be mindful. Like, I've never come across a motherfucker that would tell you, like, no, you can't take a shower before I eat your pussy type shit. Like, Mm -hmm. do what you need to do. If you need to go to the bathroom and freshen up, nobody's going to tell you, no, bitch. I want Mm -hmm. the... I want... Now? Yeah, like... Front, I have said no before. But I want to put a pin in. You like that twang? You're disgusting. What I will say is, I I like, I like, I I like, I I ain't on front. You like mustard on you? I I like a little sauerkraut on my hot dog now. (laughs) Sour is crazy. Ah, I do, I do like. I got, I got a good. I look, I look. Tang is cool, but sour is crazy. I do, I do like. I just got off of work, pussy. I ain't going front. I've heard that. But what I will say is, I, I I don't like it as a woman though. I have to be honest on this podcast. I have been on both ends of the spectrum. Mm Hmm. I have eight box that I wasn't too excited to eat. And I've also not been prepared for head before. I'll be honest. I was home. Oh, you had stink box. My box was stink. 
<laughs> keep it a hundred. I was home. Disgusting. I was home all day. Yo, this nigga's disgusting. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I don't give a fuck. Wet last I was week. home all day. Oh my god. <laughs> had this has a bad discharge. <laughs> keep it a hundred. No, I was home. I was home all day. Yeah, okay. Feel me? I it was one of them days I was home. I didn't leave the house. I didn't shower. I was just home chilling, watching TV. I had a shorty that I was dealing with at the time. We've already had sex plenty of times before. She was pulling up on me. So I'm cleaning up my crib, making sure you know my want my crib decent. Mm -hmm. So Doing my thing, doing my thing, I'm doing my thing. I perspire a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit more than the average person, I ain't going front. Mm -hmm. But I'm not thinking about that because I'm in the comfort of my home, right? So she pulls up now, you feel me? And um, she's on my couch, you mm -hmm. know? So she's about to like lay on my lap, like with her head on my lap. So I said, let me just fix my boxes real quick. So I hit, with, hit myself with a little one of these. Ugh. You gotta let your and shit I, breathe. And I, I put my hand up here and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I know the smell. I know the I'm, smell know the is smell. crazy. So before she even puts her head down, I hit it with this. I call like this. Whoop. Nope. I was like, yo, let me go use the bathroom. I gotta pee really bad. I go in the bathroom and I'm I tip my shit down. I'm like, oh shit, it's me. No, like, duh. Like it's yo, you really it smells like I've been cleaning up all day for real. Cleaning up everything but this dick. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I took a little whole bath, you know what I'm saying? As you should. I took a whole bath, then I came back on the couch and I like nothing happened. And then she looked at me and said, you just wash your dick. This <laughs> and I was like, how can you I tell? Spring, bro. She was like, how can you tell? I, she was like, because your dick smells like mad bath and body work. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. sprayed mad bath and body work so much shit. Come back. I did why use soap too. I'm just saying. But you know, she was like, yeah, you, I can tell you had a little dick up. Like you got a little, you know, a hiccup. She's like, yeah, you had a little dick up there that you. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been bad box before. I got to keep yeah, it. Yeah. I feel like you me know. personally, if I think there's a chance that a month, like if a motherfucker coming over here that I fucked before, just to be on the safe side, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure that I'm presenting the best possible box for you to. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I want to say one thing. I have <laughs> been, no, I have given up basketball dick before. Yo, that's a thing. Basketball this is th why there are women out here that be like. Y'all be liking salt on y'all sausage. I don't like. So we got I don't ketchup, like salt. Sauerkraut, I don't salt. want. Yeah. I don't want salt on my sausage. I, I have don't. come home from playing basketball. I'm glistening. <laughs> my shirt is off. You ever come home? You've been sweating all day playing ball. You got yeah. your shirt over your like shoulder. Oh, your shoulder. You shit over on. You stink. It's nigga. You smell like nigga. You smell like. And for boys. some reason, man, no, I don't that like has that. Turned women I don't on like before. that. No, it's no. Turned, the, hey, that's a like thing. It. That's I a thing. I mean, no, I know it's a thing. Young. You're no, people young. No, I'm just saying. Again, I only What's speak to, you, to myself. Mama? I don't like it. I want that shit fresh. <laughs> so you never seen a nigga in the gym like, damn, I wish you could pull up on me. You know, I like he on in the shower. Wow. <laughs> Here's the thing, <laughs> motherfucker could pull up on me in the shower. I'll suck dick in the shower. Like I'm not, not. I'm no, I mean, no. This women no. have, and it's and not again, just one. And again, I know, I it's know, not just one. I know there is I've a had tribe women of tell them. Tell me they want me to pull up in my sanitation clothes. No, and fuck them. Yeah, just really? Mm, I've had women uniform? tell me I want you to bring your uniform. Yeah. And that's risky. And the reason that it's risky is because as someone who sucks, and not just sucks, but swallows. <laughs> as someone who sucks and swallows, you have to, be, it's a thing when it comes to hygiene. So what is that person eating? How is that the the sweat? How? Because here's the thing: if you eat burgers and drink beer and shit all fucking day, your nut tastes terrible. Shit tastes like a four for four. Like, <laughs> so I yeah, like I need to nah, mm -mm, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Now I have a few videos to go over. <laughs> we are I want to say an hour in right now, so I want to start the show soon. Mm -hmm. and Jody actually has a game that she wants to play with us. So, like to play a game? Yeah. We're talking about and being impressed, being impressive. Okay. Taking it to another level, right? Kobe. We already spoke about titty fuckers. Melly, can I get some sound on this, on, on this television, please? What we get? 
Are you a mixologist? Because this drink fire. Tahoe literally is a bartender. Literally. Yeah, it's thing. fire. It's he literally fire. is a bar. He, any nigga that got the fucking shit that the bartenders they use, sh- he, like, shit, why do you have that in your house? Really nigga? Yeah. I got all types of things strained. This nigga just had milk with his drink. Like, well, who I'm the working fuck on is learning how to do lemon drops. I'm actually. One my, of my home friends, girl, one of my friends she a mixologist. Is um, what we do when she comes by is we always try to make new drinks. Mm-hmm. So we try to, you know, we buy the things and we come by before we fucking slam dance. We make a. Uh, y'all know what slam dancing is? No. The grown and sexy. The grown and sexy. It's slam dancing. Oh. Okay. Except I'm inside your body. No, um, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. that yeah, I'm gonna yeah. take that for you sure. Cause I be telling motherfuckers like sex is like hugging only wetter. Oh my! What I be the hugging fuck? private. That was kind of sexy. Yo, write that down. Yeah, like I be <laughs> sex I, is I, like hugging, hugging only, only wetter. Yeah, I be hugging private. What's to you? I like that. <laughs> What's with your face? <laughs> Yeah, okay. I said no. Right I just did an episode with somebody, and they was like, "Why you?" Don't, I was like, "So it was like a kissing episode." And I was like, "I don't really have to kiss. I'm a kiss. I'm like, a yeah." Oh, you don't like kissing. It depends on how I feel about you. Mm-hmm. Kissing is super intimate to me. A young lady did ask me to cuddle with her, Loon, and I was like, mm-hmm. "No, I don't. I'm not." I can't forget. Yeah, that. see, like, I wouldn't cuddle or kiss somebody that I'm not trying to, like, I don't, we got to look. We came here to. Well, I'm on, like, a sabbatical right now. Mm-hmm. I'm on a sex sabbatical. Like, I haven't had sex in a minute. Nice. What's a minute? Like, three days? It's been, like, four days. <laughs> but the person I had sex with is somebody that I want to continue having sex with and actually fuck with. So For it's sure. not like I'm just doing random sex ups. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because now she was to Law. you. Yeah. What <laughs> to you? So for Mad Law, I actually turned somebody down. Came you? In, and I was like, nah, I don't, nah. But I was hanging out with her. But I thought we was just on a date. And she was like, It's I something fuck. about a man turning you down that make you want to fuck them more. She was like, I want, and I was like, nah, I don't want to fuck. I'm not, uh, I'm fellas, it's something about turning a female down that makes them, at least me, I have primal hunter kind of instincts. <sighs> The quickest way to get me on your ass is for me to feel like you I know, can't have yeah. you. It's I'm about like, to slide a girl DM yeah. right out of you. I'm what's like, I'm to not you? Going now I'm finna you. get on your ass, and yeah. then once I get you, then I'm like, all right. Yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't like that. I don't like being the, the motherfucker that you just catch and then you throw away. Like I'm a prize. Yeah, nah, you ain't. I ain't a fish. All right, let's get into this video. We've <laughs> already spoken about this. Let's see what you. I'm got. about to put it into the Discord. Let me put it into the Discord first. Let me put it into the Discord first. Do, 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 do. We As are going into Tatiana said, I love cuddles. new episode discussion. Um, and Come I am on. putting the latest thing into the new episode discussion of Discord right All now. Right, let's see. And I am playing it. Millie, can I get some volume? <gasps> what are we seeing here? <sighs> What are we seeing here? You guys are amazed. Damn. That's kind of... What are we seeing? So what I'm seeing is... What I'm loop. seeing is her titty is on his frenulum. I'm seeing... She's jacking him off, so she it looks like she got a nice grip. And he got a nice grip. Yeah. Oh, she's choking her. That is lit. And what is his, what is his titty fucking? Nigga. He's fucking her hand uh, low key. It's just her titty is on his friend in them. So I ain't gonna, I'm from New York. That's a dickhead. So uh, she got his titty on his dickhead and she's jerking. And, uh, all right. What I'm seeing here is a lady with uh, gripping a man's dick uh, in and out of her hand. Yeah. While his dickhead is hitting her breast. Uh, yeah, and so, he is letting all. But it's not just load. the dickhead; it's the frenulum. So the frenulum is like the equivalent of like the clit. So it's super sensitive. So like when you hitting that part in particular, and the way in which she holding it like with her thumb, I'm Nigga. damn near positive that it's rubbing up against her titty and it's rubbing up against the, the base that, of like her thumb. That, right oh, that shit yeah, got me. So it's like, oh, so me. look like. 
the like the the whole oh, car- like that area is like right there on that thumb so she's smacking it with her thumb and her titty so it's getting constantly yeah, stimulated yeah, back yeah. to back to back and we're talking about the frenulum that is the little slim thing it's the like the under the tongue thing yeah that's on the dick yeah it's super a little sensitive. line at the top and so what she's doing he's fucking her titty but she's grabbing the frenulum area of his mm-hmm. dick and so there's a lot of action going on. He's feeling the booty bounce of the titty. Ooh, I love that and, she got a bra on too because she under. damn near can control no, no, it look. too. Yeah, he's under the bra. Yeah, I so love it's a sports that. Sports bra, I think. Is that a sports bra? Right? It looked like a sports bra. Yeah. So his dick is in between the sports bra and her breast. So he's like in there. You know what I'm saying? Oh and God. he's fucking that while she's holding it, and she has her titties there. For extra, is that uh, somewhat titty fucking? What's that? Sixty percent titty fucking? Yeah, that's definitely a, that's a combo move yeah, though. Like yeah. she just gave, she just gave motherfucker a combination for sure. Combination. Speaking of combinations, I have another video that actually gave me a flashback. Damn. Speaking of combinations, Ooh. I have another video. Let's see it. Um. By the way, guys, girls, let's get titty fucking in there. You know what I'm now, saying? Now I'm I'm literally fun- man. Look, I'm gonna keep it 100. We gotta have a segment for your videos. Can we call this 106 in Park. We got it because your videos literally be some different next dark. level. Sh- 106, 106 in dark. dark. I love it. Ooh, That's what it is. Dark. That's what Ooh, it is. You, I you love it. about that just now? Dark. Ooh, 106 dark. in dark. I was about to say, that's yeah, new, it's literally, yeah. because it's a combination yeah. move, it's not straight titty fucking because mm-hmm. straight titty fucking is like, she you know what I'm saying? She but she gra- she right. got that you motherfucker. She just, just ain't. You, you, you have to go to yeah, the Yeah, like. Oh, girl, when girls, when they grab the titties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man, bro. Yeah, no, that's fire. Uh, uh, that's fire. I'm looking at your titties for so long. I don't know what your shirt say. What does it say? Oh, it say the gag is I don't. All right. Because I don't got a gag reflex. Loon. <clears throat> These lights is kind of bright. No, I just need you to relax. These lights is kind of bright. <laughs> you too. By the way, it's hot. What'd I do? Yeah. <laughs> I Next time we leave your titties in Chicago. <laughs> Next time we leave my titties in Chicago is crazy. <laughs> leave titties in the shop, man. No time for this shit. I have another video. I am putting it into the Discord right now. Only because Loon said combination. Combination. Some madness. Here we go. Badness. Into the new episode. Let's see it. Of the Discord. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if you want to join the Discord, I don't know if y'all know already, but we have the Hardest Soft Raw. We have Dick Yelp. We have the Discord. All you got to do is join the Patreon. www.patreon.com backslash the hard or soft show. Can you spell that? T H E H A R D O R S H O W. The Hard or Soft Show. We have a lot going on and we're not done. We're not we're not done. We're still working on uploading those things to our to our OnlyFans. Your OnlyFans have been uh, uh, busting our ass. All of the things that they want you to do, they gotta yeah. register this, you gotta do that, you gotta do this, you do that. Mm-hmm. Might be looking for a new site. It might not be OnlyFans, I'm not sure. Just a lot. But here we go. We go. Combination. 106 and dark. 106 crazy. and dark. Millie? Let me get some sound. Oh, no. Excuse me? Yeah, hold on. Let's get to the beginning of this. What are we seeing right now at the beginning of this? What are I we don't seeing? fucking oh, know. Oh, shit. What are we seeing at the beginning of this? I don't know. I'm I, I know exactly what I see. What is see, he Julie? strapped up or he got it like... It looks like it's attached to his nuts. Yeah, like it does look like it's attached to his nuts because where's his nuts? Yeah. What it's we're like seeing. the little suction part is like on his nuts and he in her ass. She's in doggy style, right? Yeah. Let's describe and, this. Oh my God, this is intense. Is this the same shorty? No, different woman. So it's just another person with honey in their name. Um, she actually shout out to at honey bbw, Miss Honey Nut on Twitter. Uh, her at is at honey nut with two T's bbw. <clears throat> um, she posts a lot of porn content. I'm loving her page. I just followed her. Hopefully y'all shout her out. Tell her hey yo, Ty would love you to come on the show. Following because you her are now. some freaky fuck. And what I is going on here? Myself. I'm following her now. Love it. Um. 
So Twitter has damn near turned into Pornhub. It's, it's porn. It's porn. Shout out to Twitter for being. Yeah, dark. I love Twitter. What is this? Loon, what do you see? What's going on? I don't fucking on? know, bro. I see. He's in her asshole, right? I he's, see. Yeah, he's no. in her ass. So and what I'm seeing is, is in her coochie. I'm seeing a penis mm. and a rectum. Yeah, he it says. Which is fine. I'm okay yeah. with that. Yeah, cool. I get that. That's right. We're here. Okay, I'm here. But I'm here. then, mm-hmm. I see another dick. Yeah, it's a glass. It's a plastic or glass, right? But what is it like? A it's suction? Plastic. Like it's, it's a? It looks like. It looks like it's suction, and there goes his nuts right there. That's his nut right there. That's his nuts. So it's suctioned around his testicles. Is that even? Is that is it, that painful? Might be. And. She is. You would have a dick combination video in here, son. Combination. Hold on. So he's in both holes. Yo, what fully fledged. F- oh, she's about to. Why don't I like Carmelo? <laughs> I look like Melly. <laughs> they do look like Melly. Yeah, she's about to die. I ain't gonna lie. That is a lie. Oh, hold on. Oh she God, said, don't stop. She said, don't stop. Don't stop. It's crazy. She's being stimulated in multiple ways, and I love that for her. No, she's like, about to die. Love you, baby. I ain't gonna lie. That may be the most fire video you ever posted. Love you, baby. Yeah, like. Why I you took lo- the sound off? I love that for her. No, we got a podcast to do, bro. What are you talking about? Can you send me that? Sure. Appreciate send you the link. Cause that way you can go down the yo honey nut. She 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 posts a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm following. Matter of fact, I think every week I'm getting all of these videos off of Twitter. I'd like to give back to the people on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? That that are posting these things and getting shadow banned. You know what I'm saying? So we have this huge um, platform. At least I can do is shout out the people that are posting these things and risking their pages and shit. For sure. So this is going to be our first one at Honey Nut BB. W, going on there to look for your Twitter porn. Next week, dark. we will, yep. Next week, we will uh, post another poster. We'll figure out what they what to call these people for our 106 and Dark segment. segment. I love that. I have one more. Let it fly. And most Bring of you have seen it. Now, we talk, now, Jody's like, oh, nothing's impressive to me. That's no, I was about to say, I'm That's decent. That's decent. <laughs> You and I put your tongue away, please. Thank you. I behave yourself. <laughs> saw this video last week. A few of y'all have seen this video last week. We already have it in the disc in the Discord. I'll post it again. Just so all of these things are in the same space. Wait, this video but looks very familiar. You guys have already seen this stuff already, so Yeah, this shit leaves. This one <laughs> to me might be the most impressive. I'm not sure. Okay. It's decent. Impress me. Y'all are gonna laugh. Don't fucking laugh. Melly, let me get some sound. Where's his hand? What's he doing? Grabbing the coochie as a saddle is crazy. <laughs> he really holding it like he riding a horse. Like he gripping that motherfucker. He's gripping that motherfucking pussy. Both lips. It's a bigger woman. And her pussy is, is kind of huge. I was about to say, oh, and that be the thing too, like your size. Look at, look, turn- look at the both He got it with both he, hands. He holds like he a fucking Harley Davidson. He, okay. he turned her every way but loose. That is crazy. Very nice. Oh Very my nice, God. man. Damn. Very nice. But at the same time, like I know that part, like the, the mom's pubis part of the pussy is sensitive. So she damn near being like. That kind of turn me on. Oh yeah, I would have juiced yeah. after that. Yeah, that's <laughs> for grabbing her shit. Yeah, like be able to grab that shit like a fucking Harley Davidson. Ah! What? He's le- grabbing her that shit, like, shit soft, like a bro. saddle. Yeah. Yo, shout out to them. Um, that's I love that for her, but shit. I, I got that, that from at Dark Muse underscore. That is at. D-A-R-K. Tatiana said, "I don't have enough pussy for that. I don't either, sis. Like, I don't. I, you can't grab my shit like that." That is at dark 
M U S E underscore. It's like the way a motherfucker grab your neck and choke you, mm-hmm. but they choking like your pussy. It's mm-hmm. like that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't have enough body parts for that. Well, you got enough. A lot of other things. Yo, relax, relax. <laughs> Welcome to hardest, the hard or soft show. The show. <laughs> Where we speak about the things that men like about sex and the yeah. things that men don't like about sex. A pussy sex. choke. I want to try that. That's the things it, that make us crazy. hard and the things that make us soft. I am here joined by my illustrious co-host, the ambiance, a.k.a. Dr. Tongue. A.K.A. Drill Clinton, if you know, you know. You Stop and frisking these hoes, nigga. A.K.A. King Loon. How you feeling today, my good brother? Feeling good. We having a good vibe right now. Good right? vibes in here, right? Good vibes. Yeah. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah. I am also joined by a young lady that might have the most hustle that I've seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. For somebody that doesn't have like, <clears throat> she came out of, so what, what it is is that she came out of nowhere. She's like hitting us up, <laughs> hitting us up, hitting us up. Hey, I want to come on the show. Hey, I want to come on the show. Hey, let me vibe with y'all. Yo, oh, yo. And I think for the first couple of times, like people hit us up all the time. It's just like, okay, okay, for okay. Sure. Right? Um, I believe your page got deleted. My page did get deleted. Tough. It got whacked like right. out of nowhere. And you got a new page. Dark. Mm-hmm. And she starts hitting us up again from the new page. Bang, 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 bang. Because I'm Email us. Boom. Email is crazy. I'm Email on us. it. You know a nigga seriously Jumps in the live. So now I'm seeing the things because you know we get Because you're going to see my name. I'm seeing it. <laughs> and I'm like, shorty, all right, yo, I got you. Hold on. <laughs> like, hold on. Hold out. I go to her page, though. I don't like being told no. We see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she is, prom- like, when I say she has a show coming up, she's already doing multiple shows in Chicago. She's on like a really whole Eastern Lake tour of America. Like she's up and down from Atlanta, New York, Chicago, St. Louis. What other cities have you done? Um, those are so we just did those. We gonna take a break. Mm-hmm. I need a break. <laughs> I need I a bet. fucking break. We supposed in. to do Philly, but I'm like, I need a fucking break. <laughs> but she's going in, bro. And one thing is, I love, uh, you know, I love pussy. I love head. I love beauty. All of those things is true. I do love all those things. But I think there's one thing that I need with all of that, and that's hustle. I need my bitch to be on her shit. Like, Mm -hmm. you a fucking, you nigga, let me, I want to support what you got going on. Whatever it is that you busting your ass at, let me take some of that off and put something on it to make sure that you get in there. So when I'm watching Shorty do her thing, I'm like, nah. It's like, damn. She hustling hard to live big, nigga. That's a Brooklyn thing. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that. Hustle hard to live big. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm watching the way that she's promoting. She's like clipping everything that she can to promote her shows. Clipping it again. Promote her show. Promote her show. Promote her show. And, you know, I'm what I, from what I remember hearing is 200 people at her Chicago show. 180 people in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. She doing a buck in St. Louis. She's not even from there. She's like, yo, it's like. How you going to let me run it she down got here? She New York show this week. She got here. me, Mouse. Um, eat your heart out from mm-hmm. Philly. Philly. Um, Miss Molly, Mistress Molly is in the shit. Um, who else? Yeah, um, TJ. Uh, we we vibing, we vibing. Uh, I've been <laughs> busting my yeah. ass. Oh, that show. Like, oh, yeah, Battle, of the, Battle yeah. of the Sexes. Battle of the Sexes. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, we definitely running that shit back in twenty fourth, uh, twenty twenty four for sure. But you calling it the battle of excesses. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yes. What so exactly is it? Happy oh, to explain it. So Oh shit. Melly said, who the fuck is she though? Yes. Girl, what's her name? Yeah. I'm Jody, y'all. Like hey, baby Jody. boy. I stole my car, Jody. What is your yeah. ad name? Yes. So uh Instagram is at Jody Provocative. That's J O D Y P R H O E. V O C A T I V E. All right now. Provocative. Jody yeah. provocative with the whole in it. Gets yeah. the people going. Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like I had to take the word provocative and make it more provocative because I do a lot. So, so. tell us about your brand. Yes, of course. So, 
Provocative. Um, I'm the host of the Provocative Podcast. It's a show all about sex. I am a certified sex coach, a certified fellatio instructor. That's why I love Mm. what I do. Y'all ever need some volunteers? (laughs) I love what I do and I do it well. Shout out to you. And Provocative is all about kind of reimagining sex, getting away from that stigma. We talk about the educational aspect, but we also crack jokes because. As you should. I'm a silly motherfucker. Like I, I laugh it. a lot. I see. It. I see it. <laughs> so yeah, we have fun over at Provocative, but Battle of the Sexes specifically, mm-hmm. because I'm a part of FC Network, which is a podcast and media company in Chicago. So we have multiple podcasts, but I'm like our resident sex expert type okay. shit. So mm-hmm. Battle of the Sexes is where we collaborate with different people and we talk about popular like memes and hot topics around sex dating and parenting okay so for example you know somebody might say like yo i'm single till i'm married and then you like you basically whatever your like you know how you see a meme and then you like retweet it and then whatever your caption is mm-hmm. like that's like what came off the dome type shit mm-hmm. that's what we do with battle of the sexes but it's in real time do you so like do you have like, like an example do you want to yeah you, you like play right now yeah for sure i sent you the, i sent you some memes oh you sent me something yeah i did so we you're gonna play battle of the sexes right now and you this is what you're for doing for sure you're yeah this around. will be lit yeah okay so like yeah how do we do this let all right see. so like go to like the first meme that i sent you mm-hmm. let me go to your name let me see this oh, okay i see that you, you you sent me a bunch of things yes i sent you a couple ooh, different ooh, memes ooh, ooh. but this is what battle of the sexes is like just having and the goal of Battle of the Sexes is ultimately to end the gender war because it's a lot of women blaming men for shit, a lot of men blaming women for shit. But if we have these conversations, the first step is having a conversation that, so that we can get to a solution. Mm-hmm. But you also got to be, of course, open to that. You can't be no heckling ass motherfucker where you just like, you hate women. We're not getting through to a motherfucker like that. Mm-hmm. However, if you like, yo, this is an issue. Let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Then that's when you can get to a solution. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. But we also crack jokes. So, so you want to do the first meme? Is this yes. the, the one with a uh, dude that looks like Power? Uh, dude from Power? Um, This one. That one? Uh, talking about dude that look from pa- like Power. Like Ghost? He look like Ghost to you? Yeah, that okay. that's the first one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this up on the screen. I'm gonna put also. First, I'm gonna do is put it into the new episode. Yes. In, of the Discord, let's go. It's in there. All right, and it's going up on the screen now. That dude like goes. He do right. He do he like he look like ultimate. But you know that's dude from Soul Food. Yeah, he, he looks, looks like every a, default another Brown variant father. Yeah, another variant of ghosts. He look like he's trying to say, "Good job, young man." All right, so me and <laughs> Luna and I are on the stage. All right, so people with trauma fuck the best. What they lack and trust, they make up with less. So basically, that's the caption on this on the video. Yes, that's what it says. So what you would do is respond with what you feel about it. Like me, <clears> how <throat> I respond is. The best sex I've ever received from a motherfucker has been a motherfucker that hit rock bottom. Mm-hmm. Like, you trying to fuck me out my car keys. You trying to fuck me out my house keys. Like, you fuck like your life depends on it because it low-key does. I'm going mm-hmm. <laughs> to I'm gonna provide your livelihood at this point. Like, what the fuck you need? Like, nah, shit. Right. You, mm-hmm. you fuck, why you fucking with me like this? Like, you need some money? <laughs> nah. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I see that. And I'll ante up on you, and I will say that I agree, and also state that women with daddy issues got the best pussy. I've never met a chick who knew, who didn't know her father who didn't have lit ass box or had some kind of issue with their father. Like her box be fire, or any chick that really right. had their shit together. Like their box don't really be that dope. Like if you don't have no trauma in your life, you don't yeah, have right. nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're just some clean like, yeah, cut like, bitch. Yeah, yeah. That pussy, the head ain't like good. bitch. Go don't back and about. go through some shit, then come see me. She don't have <laughs> snot. Snot don't come out yeah, of her nigga. nose while she's sucking your shit. Mm-hmm. If she don't have trauma, there's no tears. Like I need you to be thinking about niggas that have fucked you over in yes. life while you sucking my shit Word. because it makes the shit but work. I gotta run you through the mud like you tired yeah. you yeah. gotta be tired yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. the more you cry the, the more, the more now she, let me hit y'all with the science the more she behind cry, that the the pussy so y'all know that uh, trauma emotional trauma is stored in the hips what do you mean? so emotional trauma is stored in so the hips so it's like balls so it's like the pussy's balls a motherfucker <laughs> is dead ass 
ass <laughs> fucking the trauma away. <laughs> I said that I made a reel and I was like, look, emotional trauma is stored in your hips. So if I say I'm healing, it's because I'm fucking this pain away. Mm, so, yeah. If she's starting to heal. I mean, somebody's tapping that shit away. Mm-hmm. Knocking the back of that shit. Somebody's grabbing knock, that shit. Knock, knock. But I got a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. saddling Let's my go to shit. the next one. Let's go to the next one. You ready? Yes. Men, the caption is yeah. Men want women to have really low body to counts. To not have really. Yeah. Low. Men want women to not have really low body counts, but also want them to be the freakiest woman they ever been with. Can't be MVP without practice. Agree. So it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. Me I, personally, don't come around here if that pussy ain't been around the block a few times. I need you to be able to walk around in the dark and be able to find your keys. It's like, find my dick in the dark the way you could if you found your keys. I need you to almost be like Helen Keller. Got it. Got here. You know what I'm saying? I need bathroom. you to be able to read my dick like Braille. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. That's, that's what the fuck I need. I'm fucking Bring dead. your used ass pussy over here. Yeah. I yeah. I mm-hmm. feel like, I was, and here's the thing too. Don't let motherfuckers slut shame you because motherfuckers love sluts. We love sluts. We do. Like, we literally, that's why slut me out is a thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. People want to be able to disassociate themselves Mm -hmm. from sluts because Mm -hmm. of respectability Respectability. politics. Mm -hmm. But we know respectability politics does nothing for people. Like, it's full of shit. It doesn't matter what you do or who you do it with because you being called a hoe or being called a slut literally has nothing to do with what you do with your pussy. As long as you are responsible, that's all the fuck that fucking matters. But outside of that, again, because society has conditioned us to believe that, oh no, you have to be this way. Look, I want to be happy. And if happy means I'm having these elite ass sexual experiences and I'm not allowing a motherfucker to hold me back, then that's just what the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, don't let motherfuckers. No, you ever had sex with a chick everybody's talking about was, was, was out there, she's a hoe? And that shit was amazing. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm keep it a hundred with you. There's this one chick. Let's just say her name was Kajanta. I'm just gonna make some shit up. Mm-hmm. Kajanta is yeah, crazy. Why the fuck is that? What can you just be here? like Val? Because I fucked. She could be an Ashley. Because I fucked. She could be an Ashley or Britney. Because there's a bitch named Ashley that listens to this that I used to fuck with. I don't need no text from her. We are gonna mm-hmm. say Kajanta. Yeah, everybody, it's not you, Ashley. Everybody <laughs> and their mother fucked Kajanta. So my stupid ass was like, you know what? Jonta, I'm gonna be nuts. Jonta is really crazy. Gajanta so, sound like a fucking respuse ass motherfucker. So like, I ain't going front. I fuck Gajanta. And I posted in the channel, like, yo, Gajanta got some good ass box. And they said, nigga, we just said everybody hit it. We, we didn't say, say it wasn't, wasn't good. good. <laughs> nigga. And I was like, facts. You right? I fuck Gajanta too. Me too, nigga. It was this girl so, yeah. around my way back in the days. She done moved on, and I seen her a year or so ago. And she, she died? She, 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 no. I you said, funny you as said she the moved fuck on, moved like, Oh, you mean from her whole ways? Oh, I thought you meant she passed away. Out the neighborhood. She's, and she's, I saw her somewhere else, and it's not. It killed. When I see her now, it was like, damn, the memories was fire. Now I see you now, I got to get rid of the memories. Why? She just ain't, ain't, ain't no more. Oh, but back then, man. yo, she was the whole. She was, everybody was knocking that down. I was in love with her though, bro. <laughs> she gave me some box one time uh-huh. and I thought about that shit every day, nigga. Like, yo, <laughs> I, yo, I kissed her and she was like oh. looking at me when I kissed her. Like, She's like, nigga, you yeah, do that? Wait, you kissed No, yeah. wait, she looked at you yeah, shocked like, like. Yeah, why are you, you like. You know what oh, I be doing? Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what I'm What's to you? Yeah. What's, what's, to you? Yeah. what's to you? What's to you? She hit yeah. you with the what's to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, nigga, fuck? I was searching for her, and then I'd be around with her. I'd be around her, and I, I'd be like staring, but she wouldn't look. It's like you weird. still be thinking about that box. Son, that pussy was good. What? That pussy that was, was good. Gold. I ain't gonna hold you though. It was it was a very sus moment of us fucking because mm-hmm. I just kind of went in the bathroom behind her. She was in the bathroom. I went in the bathroom behind her, and I just kind of like lifted her shit up, and like she just stuck her ass out. Oh, that got I, me we fuck. had no nigga. We was all yeah. in the crib. What? It was mad. It was like 10 of us in the crib. Me, had, me and her had no prior 
relations. That was your first encounter with her? And I just went in the bathroom behind her and just kind of like slowly started inching her skirt up. And what? she like looked and she just stuck her shit out like I dare you. She gave you a ZQ. And uh, I just throw it in there and I started knocking her shit down raw too. <laughs> oh, you was a bad boy. Yeah, you was a bad boy. And for yeah. sure, knocked that shit back. It was so good. And we never did nothing again. And I yearned for it. it but I lit. couldn't yearn for it out loud. Yeah, because you're going to look crazy. Because everybody was like, her? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, look at this dirt bitch or whatever. Oh, ugh. But I was like, yo, that's my dirt bitch. Right <laughs> <laughs> Loved her. Own Shout it. out to you. Um, <laughs> Shout out to the We'll do one more shorties. before we get out of here. <laughs> we do one more <laughs> yeah, of sure. the battle of the sexes. Now, this is just one segment of your show, right? Like, you have multiple segments of your show. Yeah, so this is, these are just the sex memes. Mm -hmm. So we have memes for dating and parenting mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. so they just you know mm -hmm. we say something to get the people going let's see let's see what the next one is and I nutted is, I nutted in three bounces I know they cooking me in the group chat bruh bruh okay y'all have nut quick so I say that to say this <laughs> you ain't say that you ain't say nothing one of the greatest boxes of all times <laughs> took mm -hmm. you out huh Went by the name of Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. oh, she and I was told that like, he was so good that if you came five minutes late to the match, you might have missed the whole entire match. Mm -hmm. I say that to say, but that don't mean a nigga wasn't nice. He just won Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. Sometimes bitches pussy be Mike Tyson. And I have no problem saying, yeah, Mike Tyson knocked me out. Who did he not knock out? And I ain't mad at that. That's where I'm going with that. I'm busted Douglas then. I ain't mad at oh, that. You had one lucky night. I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to knock Mike the fuck out, nigga. Yeah, I had a chick that used to do that. I'm she trying to, to knock regular. Shorty the fuck out. I ain't, I don't, coming early is not something that you're going to get from me at this time, at this point in life. It's mm -hmm. just not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know how to pace myself, let alone the fact is I'm getting you up there. I am then heard you scream and moan before I even put my dick in there. Mm -hmm. So and anxiety is just not part of the play no more for me. For, sure. for you niggas that's worried about anxiety and your dick ain't lasting, mm -hmm. take her to the top and back before you even put your dick in it. That should have had your confidence on fire. Now, once you get in there, it's like, yeah, and I got dick. You know what I'm Don't saying? Don't worry. <laughs> oh, you you, got always, too, you, you know always want a female to be like, you brought dick too. And you got that, dick too. That is like you know the saying? most amazing yeah. thing. Yeah. Like, for me, I have mixed feelings about a guy coming quick. Mm -hmm. Like, on the one hand, yeah, I know this pussy snatching shit. However. <laughs> Yo, so why are you She's so crazy. funny, I son? Love her, son. I, love, I know this pussy be snatching shit. I know this pussy be snatching shit. However, <laughs> I've also experienced the motherfucker that'll switch positions real quick because they know I'm snatching shit. So do come on now, like y'all got y'all techniques and shit like that. Like I've had niggas tell me like, oh, I was thinking about my grandma just so that I didn't yeah. type shit. And I'm like, look, but I also had a situation where a motherfucker like, it was like three minutes tops. And I'm like, that is crazy. Like you damn near like. Did he eat the box first though? Yes. How long was he eating the box? Like 15 minutes. If I'm humping the bed. While I'm eating your box, I'm just me going in the box. That's it's over already. That's it's over already. Yeah, don't even like, count. this don't count. <laughs> this don't. This is not me nothing fast because I've been hunting, humping the bed for 15 minutes. Not this you, Bill. This is this is the start. This is the start. This is the demo. This shit. This was a demo, bitch. You know this ain't the real deal. It's a Lord, prototype. prototype. Yeah. We but also, here. I had another situation where it was this guy where damn near every time we had sex, he it was five minutes. Yeah, yeah it was like... Yeah. And, but here's the thing. I he don't... Off enough. I don't think he's someone that... It's like... I don't... Because he's an athlete, I don't think he's someone that just like doesn't have endurance, though. He just don't jerk off enough. Yeah, it might. I mean, I don't know. I, joking off, I, I, I feel like I strongly recommend all people edge, man, woman, yeah. whatever. Like edging will make sure you yeah. last longer. By yourself, right? Yeah, for sure. Like yeah. I'm an edger. So, so then why don't you tell him if you had multiple moments where he would do it? Why didn't you edge him for him? Um, he was just one of those like Netflix and chill type. Yeah. So like, why y'all watch so, a movie? You no, know, yeah, I just want to play with your dick. Don't move. Watch the movie. Yeah. And just every time you think he gonna go, he then you just let his shit go down and his shit go down, and then you start again 
and you put them back up. See, but that's me getting into now. I'm controlling everything. It's your fault. Yeah, no, I get that. Like this particular guy, like because I knew that's how he was coming. I'm like, look, you gonna come quick and then you gonna cuddle me. I'm just in a cuddling mood, Mm. and that's what I want from you. So the the sex ain't even really for me. I just want you to hold me. Let's move this along. Jody is a demon. Okay. Loon, let's move this along. <laughs> what yeah. made you hard this week? I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> You're going to laugh. I'm always going to laugh, especially since you exposed me and my motherfucking Usher shit. I just want to get your attention. Sorry. <laughs> so um, I don't know why this has never happened to me a day in my life. I'm at work. I okay. leave the unit. I'm heading upstairs to, to steal some water from my boss's office. Why do you steal water? Because she don't be in there. And um, on my way there, I, um, I hear like a bunch of like ruffling, like like a door is about to unlock. So I look to the left and I just see like this woman coming out of the bathroom. But it looked like she it, like I, it looked like she was just fucking though. Like she pulling up her skirt, like she adjusting herself and shit like that. And I was like, damn. He was just like, you was just in there, like you had a nice little session around in that bitch. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, the bathroom is my safe haven. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, fuck. I just, now I'm thinking about just fucking her in the bathroom and how she looked coming out. Mm-hmm. So it was some, I don't know if it was the way she was dressed or like what she smelled like. She was just fine as shit. And somehow I just getting her shit together like she just finished getting fucked. So when I look at certain chicks and I'm like, damn, you just getting your shit drilled? Like you just mm-hmm. getting your shit knocked back? Maybe mm-hmm. you just want to knock it back next. Mm-hmm. So I ain't going to hold you like definitely her coming out the bathroom just looking like she just got through World mm. War 7 mm. that shit got me kind of aroused I'm just getting excited yeah, just thinking about like, it mm. I ain't gonna lie I gotta, my dick got hard Jody you know I wear slacks what made you wet this week dick through the slacks is crazy. last night I recorded two episodes and on one of the episodes it was like this guy that I asked him like what's something that you haven't tried that you want to try and he said like he want to get milked and the thought of that was like alright cool because again I like like a motherfucker to relinquish control type shit so for me the idea of milking that particular mm. person like mm. I'm like I I already have thought about getting a milking table mm. because that's some shit that I would be into because I love dick. So, yeah. I love dick. I, I love it real bad. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> so, I, yeah, dick. I personally, me, myself, and I, um, Loon and I did the uh, threesome dick yelp this week. <clears throat> I had mixed feelings about the threesome dick yelp. I, want, I ain't going to lie. Um... One of the feelings that had me on a high was thinking about how down for whatever listener letter was. Not gonna lie, son. Like, son, shorty, we ate, like, I ate her pussy while she ate DC's ass. Like, I mean, I ate DC's pussy while listener letter ate DC's ass. Same time, we just wilding her the fuck up. Like fucking her from one room to the other, crazy. Like the the amount of things that we did that weekend, my nigga. I love threesomes. Three Nuts. Really? Yeah, Nuts. I'm a unicorn. Like you know what I'm saying? That's I'm, another thing I want to say. I'm really into being a unicorn. Yeah, I'm I'm a unicorn. Uh, I know a lot of people don't fuck couples. I do. I like them. You know what I mean? I get to leave the next morning. I like being right fat. <laughs> Yo, Jody, you're right. Your mouth is crazy, by the way. OD. Especially when she's happy. Don't look at me. Don't look at me with that shit. (laughs) Don't look at me with that shit. Why can you open it? Yo, stop. Why? Behave. I don't know. Stop starting shit. Genetics. Stop starting shit. (laughs) Um, Motherfucker. I will say that I do enjoy the idea of being the third. But I'll speak about that later. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But... What I experienced at that threesome, mm-hmm. and 
it seems to be similar to what listen to letter experience like we was with what the fuck ever nigga mm-hmm. and i think that's what you gotta be into you when you in a threesome mm-hmm. like if you come and you like in your head or you ain't ready to get down with the get down like yo get i down. might go to the bathroom you bitches is riding each other's faces and shit i don't give i'm finding a way to make the shit pop on the next level you For know what sure. i'm saying as the third and I think that she was really with this shit. So shout out to Listen to Letter for keeping it real to everything that she said she was. You know, she's one of my muses right now. Love her to death. Um, and that's what made me hard this week. Going over that, listen, we, when we did the, the episode, it was just like, damn. I love sexy motherfuckers. That's about they sex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You go home and you titty fuck somebody tonight. Oh, I'm losing respect for you. Or not tonight, but when you get back. I was going to say, shit. Like, I'm going to go home fuck. tonight. I just got here. Yeah, nah, titty <laughs> fuck somebody. <laughs> no, I already, I, I might titty fuck somebody before the week is out. Yeah. All right, okay. now. While you're here in New York? Maybe. All right. Mm-hmm. Shout, okay. shout to that. Yeah. Look along. <laughs> You and these granny ass glasses is funny as shit. Yo, yo, what's this to you, granny bro? Is bro. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Take these shits off now, nigga. What now? I'm dead now, nigga. What's to you, ass nigga? Now, Y'all better start saying what's to you now. This Wait, show relax. is <laughs> about the things that make men hard and the things that make men soft. Now, I don't know if I prepared you. I don't know if you listen to the show, Jody, but. We often speak about things on a general basis as they compare to you. So it's not, it's, it's like, yo, what are the things that you actually like that happens in the bedroom? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Something that you wish more people would do to you. It doesn't have to be to every woman or every person out there. For Something sure. that you just like, yo, honestly, this is some shit that turns me the fuck on. A thing that makes me hard. Now, Loon is prepared already. I don't want to catch you blindside, but I want you to, you know, think about that. Normally, mm-hmm. I send out a script, but you're going to have to come off the dome right now. All right, I ain't Loon, mad at it. do you have something that off makes dome, kind you of sexy. hard? Yeah, yes and no. So, it's something that I've seen, but I've never actually experienced. <clears throat> I was watching, um, after we had your dick yelp, actually, mm-hmm. kind of put me in my rabbit hole of threesome porn. And it's not really, it's not really something that I watch that often. I like gangbang shit, but this is like a three something. And party. right now, right, relax now, relax. <laughs> and I seen something that was so funny, like it was hilarious. But then when I looked at it, like to the what what it really meant, it kind of like warmed my heart. And I was like, I wish I had somebody to do that for me. So I'm watching a threesome with a guy. It's WMW. Right, woman, male. Okay, WMW. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? I don't know. It's two. It's, it's two it's, bitches and a nigga. It's, Let me stop trying to be sexually educated. <laughs> MFM. All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, is it w- F- w? No, no, it's, it's not. It's women. MFM. Male, female, male. Yeah. It's, wait. So it's two it's women F- and a nigga. FMF. FMF. Yeah. Okay. FMF. Shout out to BMF and Meech, you know. <laughs> but um, so I'm watching it. <laughs> so I'm watching it. Nuts, so I'm man. watching it, right? And um, oh the girl God. is like rotting this nigga dick like crazy ass, just bouncing, plat, plat, mm-hmm. plat. Mm-hmm. You feel me? She put her hands back. I see her back flexing. I'm like, oh my god, mm-hmm. look at the look at the that back. Mm-hmm. And the other, you know what the other chick was doing? I kid you not. She had a washcloth and was wiping the sweat off the young lady's forehead. Mm-hmm. And I say, yo, that shit is bad Team. funny. Team. Hot you feel towel me? treatment but, is... Yo, when I sit down and think about it, it's like, yo, this nigga at this point in time, he's so fully invested and tapped in and making sure this young lady's getting her pleasure. You being the selfless individual that you are, you're not even taking that shit to heart and you assisting him and helping her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought like, yo, imagine somebody that... that sell, like being selfless in the bedroom, like to that extent... Oh my God! I, that shit took me to a level I ain't never seen before. Mm. Like, I feel like I really that's the best that. way to have a threesome, you know though. Like when you know when I tell people, if you want to have a threesome, your ego can't be any. That's gonna make for the best possible experience because you know that y'all are all here to have fun we and experience. We wilding, yeah, you know? you're here to experience each other. Mm-hmm. And if your ego is involved, then you worried about yourself. Mm-hmm. You cannot be worried about yourself. You here to experience these different energies, the you know the vibes with different people, and but it's kind of hard for women to feel that way, especially if a guy is bringing the women together. 
That's why I said. I feel like most guy. threesomes should be initiated by the woman. Like if women. the woman does right. not initiate it, then you probably shouldn't move forward shouldn't with it. it. Right. Yeah, so like any like, threesome that I've been brought into, it's always the chick. And I only agree to a threesome because of the chick. Right. It has nothing to do with the guys. Like, right. y'all just got lucky. So we did the, the, the threesome dick yoke. Mm-hmm. For, of me must and see TV by far the best dick yo but I'm not even saying it just to sell it's by I, far I the best dick yo we've ever had I didn't expect it to go that way neither I did I I thought that it was gonna be a great dick yo I was like oh you know I didn't wanna do it cause I thought it was gonna be exactly what he said it, it went the <laughs> other way it went the other way um, okay some really crazy moments real intense in it that I was not expecting um it is up on Patreon right now, yes. uh, www.patreon.com backslash the hardest soft show. But yeah, I was. I feel you. I had, mo- I had, I had a lot of variance, especially show. afterwards. Once I sat with it, I was like, "Wow, like that's crazy." Because I here it is. I'm thinking it's the best night, best weekend. Best I ever had. You know what I mean? Me and Listen Little, we both was like, you, you know, we think about it. She, she jerk off to it to this day. I, I told y'all, you know what I mean? Like, we think about it all the time and want to mimic it all the time. So, um, but obviously. And to see what he is talking about, you must be a member of our Patreon. Please stop being stingy. Join the Patreon, yo. Listen, this is a show. You got to pay for this. I did. You got to see this. And I'm not I, I'm not being a groupie. Tahoe Dick Yelp is definitely worth paying for. By far the best Dick Yelp. So... Far. Um, we are here with you today. Yes. And we are here to ask you about the things that make you wet. The hey, things Jody. you like about sex. The things you'd love more people to do to you in the bedroom. I really like bondage. Mm. Like real bad. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I like to be hogtied. Like I like to be I don't know how to hog tie, No, like I real I like it real bad. I like when so in the same way that I like for somebody to relinquish control to me, I like to not have control. Mm-hmm. Because I'm used to, as you said earlier, I'm a hustler. So I'm used to making decisions and having to do this and do that. But when I trust you to the point where I don't have to like you just like, all right, I'm gonna have my way with you. I'm like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. And also, I really like when somebody tell me I'm being a good girl. Mm. Like, real bad. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm sucking somebody dick and they're like, oh, good, good girl. girl. I'm like, ah, mm-hmm. oh, shit. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, like, you I like, like your praise. Re- you have a praise kink. I really have a praise kink. Mm-hmm. I love when people sing my praises. Mm-hmm. And that makes me just go harder. I think I do, too. Words of affirmation is my thing. Mm-hmm. But um, and, and it's, it's bigger, especially... Like I said, when I'm fucking a chick and she say, this is your pussy or, um, oh, I feel it in my stomach or, oh, my God. So this goes into what I'm, I'm going to say mm-hmm. um, as my heart. I think that I also have a praise king. But I, I don't know if it's the way yours is, right? Mm-hmm. I'm having sex with my preferred pussy right now. And, you know what I'm saying? And um, hmm. preferred pussy is fire. My heart. Although it includes yours, is so she's riding, and I grab her shirt and I tie it into like a fucking knot, and I'm making sure that she's. Grinding. I love that. That shit lit. Yeah, I got you at like a harness. You know what I'm saying? So, Somebody had grabbed my wig braids before, and I was like, "You grab it, then they can grab that pussy. Just hold, come here, bitch." <laughs> yeah, like just I don't, I don't give a damn what you grab my neck, grab my hair. Like I got some she shit. Said somebody could, grabbed her hair braids. Yeah, like because I be wearing wigs sometimes, and my wig came off, so he just like gripped my wig braids and still. Yeah. I'm like That's that so shit lit. I ain't she with did. that. So <laughs> we knocking it, we knocking. She's riding. I made her nut like three times. <laughs> Mm-hmm. To the point where you hear that pussy, she just nutting, 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 nutting right? Three times she nutted, and then I was kind of like, "Yo," because I knew she was tired of um fucking, fucking. I was tired of fucking, fucking, and I was like, "Yo, just lay down. Let me just, let me just put it inside you. Let me just have it inside you. Can we just cuddle?" I love that. Inside the you. cuddle inside. Oh shit! That's lit. And we started. We laid down and we just laid there kissing and shit, dick inside her, and I just started moving my shit. Uh, slowly. Slow. That slow grind. That's too fast. Oh. Nah, you slowly gotta almost not even move fast. like the not major. Even move. Just a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, long like I wasn't even supposed to be there. <laughs> like somebody was gonna catch me yeah, in the pussy. Nah, you know, you know how niggas, how Jamaicans used to dance back in the day, just like a slow wine. Hey, when I tell you <laughs> that shit turned into some of the best slow sex I've ever had, cause it was like mad slow. Like I was like barely moving, and then every once in a while I take it out and put it back in, like. Like make let her feel the shaft. Oh yeah, that shit lit. And then that I'm then I'm coochie to coochie on it, just you know what I'm saying. When I say coochie to coochie, it's like the base of your dick. Yeah, it's, it's like you scissors her. Pussy. Yeah, like that. So I'm just right there, cut, 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 right there, boom, right. Cut, cut, cut. Whatever. I love but a you good can scissor. Feel it because now the pussy feels wide open. Y'all remember she nutted already three times. Mm-hmm. So now the pussy feels wide open. So I can feel the fact that I'm invading her shit, like and. I'm going so slow that she's like trying to fuck me too, but she's going slow too. So we're grinding. Baby, grind on Nigga, she me. turns around like you she pretty like, Ricky that pussy. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> cocked back, and she came to kiss. We wasn't kissing the whole time, and it, so I could tell that I had raised her shit I all the way up. Nut. I would have nutted, nigga. She. And then out of nowhere, I just start long stroking that shit. Ba ba ba. Here she go bouncing mad hard. And what she do? Fuck me. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. I love Nigga. it. Yes, Lord. I love the it. I love the fuck it. I love me it. going into her praise kink mm-hmm. because she's such a good girl and she don't really talk like that. That right. Fuck me. I swear to God, if a motherfucker give me, see, I don't be saying fuck me, but I do say ram me when I'm ready for the finishing move. Nigga. So if I, I say ram me, bong, 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 bong. Yeah, nutted. that's lit. So, nigga, we, nigga, we nutted so hard, bro. But then this chick wanna, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> don't suck the nut out my dick if you want me to stay rational. Right, because I can't control how my body reacts. I love that. I remember the first nah, time nah, I did don't. that. To, I remember the first time I did that to a nigga. The reaction that I got, he got like spaghetti legs. Yeah, like, I love that her. shit. Yeah, I like yeah. I almost yeah. broke my dresser. Real <laughs> shit. I fell right I, on that shit. I don't know how I should. I, need a, I actually need a new dresser. I, 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 low, I, don't do that. I don't like to. I don't play them games. Yeah. When I say stop, you stop. Those are our hearts we, for we this week. We hear y'all. Those are our hearts for this week. Look at Tatiana. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> right. Don't listen. <laughs> Relax. You we got, hear y'all. Ch- just chill. We hear y'all. Now, mm-hmm. much as we like to bolster and talk about the great things about sex, the things that we like, the things that we love, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The things that make us hard. <laughs> You gotta stop with that fucking growl. You don't like shit. the growl. I be just I'm, not I'm every, a, Come on, bro. It's like the sixth been, time you've growled. I've been growling since like last year. Yo, what's though? up with you though? I'm You're a right? wolf. <laughs> I'm a wolf. You gonna I, come dressed as a wolf to the live show? I growl sometimes. My fit came in the mail. Both parts. The pack is here. I growl sometimes. <laughs> you coming to our live Joe, show? Joe, you coming to our live show? When y'all live show? December second. December second. I'll here come back Brooklyn, out here. New you York. better be back out here. You know what I'm saying? I bet he. I said what I said. Don't look at hey, me like that. Hey, they trying to fuck something. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to fuck Yeah, I don't think I get... Something. Wait, you is can't that climb this tree. December 2nd? Yeah. Is that around Exotica? I don't know. But I don't listen, know. we ain't gonna hear okay. your, your, you hey. not know all that. No, I'm a... Um, Our yeah. show is better than Exotica. Definitely and I is. used to go to Exotica. Our show is better than Exotica. Check the live. You heard? You I'm excited. Now, I'm excited. I got y'all. We have a special guest that's coming. I don't know when we're going to announce. We're not. No time soon. You know what I'm saying? But Stay tuned. Man. We did our um, big one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we have multiple... We also have Kings and Drinks after... The live after show. the party is the after party. So you will be able to experience four or five different kink activations. Put me in there. Kinks, you're not you know even sure if you're coming. What you gonna do? What you you gotta do? come first. What's it, one of the things that you're gonna do? Get it? You gotta come first. I have a really nice throat. You gonna suck dick at Kinks and Drinks? What's Kinks and Drinks? A All dick, right. dick sucking festival. <laughs> you can, it's, it's a PG. Now, Kings and Drinks is not. I was gonna say, okay, full. if it's PG, then. Kings and Drinks <laughs> is not a full play party. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold on, Jody. Kings oh and Drinks is not a full play party. It is for our general audience. You don't have to come get freaky. You don't have to come get naked. There's not going to be a bunch of guys walking around in cock rings that you can see. I might have mine on. But it is one where you may experience wax play. I'm hoping Hito comes and does wax. Um, we, you may experience bondage. You may experience knife play. You may experience um, fire play, electro play. Um, we will have I do Angelo a real good masseuse. sensual. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, be, yeah. I be breaking my toys. Like, I be bringing my feathers and stuff. And I do like a so combination of like combination. massage to to feathers to bondage because I know how to do like some cute rope ties. You stuff, do not so. have to get vetted yeah. to come to Kings and Drinks, <laughs> but we do implore anybody that is in our community to fill out the vetting form on our website so that when things come up, you are already locked in. For instance, if you come into DR with us in February, that's February 1st to February 5th, if you're already vetted, you don't have to fill out the vetting form in the link. You just hit us up, say, hey, I'm trying to fill out the form. We bypass the vetting information since you've been vetted by Heart of Soft already. And you can just go to buying your tickets. Now, rooms are selling out. We have a lot of people buying rooms. People are staying with each other. People are, yo, we are invading Temptations DR with Limitless Lux um, LS. I can't remember what the LS is for, but we're, we're literally going to do a whole week in fucking DR and Temptations and I'm so excited about that because it's like, yo, every time I go out there, it's just me and my shorty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To go out there with 40, 50 people that I know, like we're taking over the pool. We're taking over the That party. just sound lit. We, go, we got just multiple rooms. Like every night we have different play party rooms. Mm -hmm. Rooms. So that means we can go here, here. You can not be involved. You don't have to do the play parties. You yeah. don't have to do nothing crazy, but if you want to, you can say, yo, let's go up to four or five. And you go in the room and it's a swim up pool room. It's come What do you mean bro. a swim up pool room? I got like a lot of kinks, so that sounds like, room. yeah. And, and niggas, it's a topless motherfucking resort. So lit, I'm like, with Tatiana. Tatiana said I want to do her thing. I'm with her because well, you show up first because if you don't yeah. know if you're coming to the lobby. I was about to say girl, yeah, like I gotta, I gotta, yeah, yeah. I gotta, I yeah. gotta figure out my it's arrangements. Yeah. So you know yeah, so, it sounds lit for yeah. us to do that. And then you know you got bigger events, and I love the bigger events where it's like what I was gonna say, like Cancun jump off. It's thousands of people that go. This is more intimate. We have our own Discord. So you're in the Discord talking to all of these people. Y'all are sharing pictures. Y'all are doing this. Y'all are shopping. This is what I got. This is what I got. And y'all preparing to go away together on for a week in February. Mm -hmm. By the time you get there, you feel like these, these are your people. For sure. And they're all kinky people. You know what I'm saying? Now, regardless of whether you want to engage or not, just think about it. Y'all in the pool. It's 40, 50 of y'all. Y'all all know we fuck each other. Facts. Vibes. I've done this with Shorty and it's been crazy. You're always going to make friends. Imagine it going there with your friends. All right. Yeah. All right, All right. now. All yeah. right. I'm chilling. Hit me up. Hit up the Heart of Soft page. Mm -hmm. You can go on the Heart of Soft website right now. Go to the event link in the Heart of Soft website. Both should be up. The live show and the event page um, and the uh, link for the DR trip should both be in the event link on the hard or www.thehardorsoftshow.com website all right um also while i'm here why y'all ain't subscribed to the fucking youtube yet stop fucking around we have a new youtube all fuck, right you man. fuck with us subscribe we need that all right the hard or soft show our old one was a hard or soft pod the new youtube is the hard or soft show trust me i need y'all to do that loon needs y'all to do that okay let's get on over there and do what we need to do comment as well all right and subscribe the things again men and women don't like in the bedroom okay the things that make us soft i ain't going front mine's actually a reverse to yours so um <clears throat> i don't know if y'all remember back in the day when i was fucking with florida bay uh, yeah! you feel me florida uh <laughs> florida bay wanted to do this thing and you know what she wanted to do so what she wanted to do was don't look at me like that well, she what don't, 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 nah, you, just, you just look me right in my eyes. Don't look me in my eyes. Like, don't start. No, you can't finish. I right, listen. You can't. You don't want to. You can't climb this tree now. Anyway, nah, you look at me. I'm a look ninja. Me. But anyway, if she wanted to do this thing where it's like, she wanted me to get inside her, and like, chill and cuddle and like go to sleep, uh -huh. but like she wanted my dick to like get soft inside her box, 
And I was like, uh, okay, I'll give it a try. And I got in there and we was chilling. And then, you know, my shit started to like shrink a little bit. And then when it got real small and it was still in there, I was just like, eh, this are you a it. grower? No, I mean, I'm, I'm here, nigga. Like, I, I'm present, but it just didn't feel right. <laughs> You feel, it just okay. felt. It, I don't know what somebody's never felt before, but it just felt very funny just being inside some box soft. I don't know. I like. like I, I don't know. Like I'm dead ass total of Like no, just stay in there. <laughs> yeah, like it's one thing. To <laughs> like stay let's in just there go, like for a just couple stay more in minutes. There. Like no, I want like don't go but nowhere. She wanted me like, to take a nap. Like, like it's so yes, take a like. Yeah. I want you to go to sleep in the pussy. Like the moment you try to like mm. no, come here. Nah, that's and that's what she was doing, and it just didn't. <laughs> It didn't. I mean, I did it because that's what she wanted, and I was just like, eh, "Wouldn't let your shit out." She wanted me to like sleep in it. Like she wanted yeah. me to just stay in there while yeah, my shit got soaked. Out of this like, pussy, man, I'm hot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm also not even oh, a, man. like I'm also not a permanent. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm a set tripping cuddler. So like I'm a front. Like I'm a dog. Like, I'm a pump fake. Like we gonna we gonna hu- cuddle hard Ugh, for idiot. like for like go, four minutes. <laughs> Do you gonna switch positions? When I'm about to go to sleep, it's like. <laughs> So yeah, me. Yeah, I wasn't with shrinking in the box. That wasn't. Yeah. Does it make you feel less masculine or something? I, yeah, I guess so. It felt weird. And you know, when your shit is like on gummy, it's mad. Like he ain't really like on point. So it just felt like he was vulnerable. Like I don't know. It just felt like it felt, it felt very small and insignificant. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm she like, she just yeah. plops out the pussy. I'm like, it's, I'm, like yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go just sleep on this side of the bed. So, yeah, out the pussy is crazy. Yeah, I ain't like that. Yeah. I ain't like that. Jody. Um. I don't like when a motherfucker like tongue fuck my coochie. That shit be so like I hate it. Like I'm, f- I'm like, why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Like, hmm. Why you do that? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? What? I, why I, I, didn't, what? I didn't see it the first time or the third time. She's really necking that shit too. <laughs> I, I Hello. I, I work my neck. I have a nice neck. Mm-hmm. You doing neck? So. Uh, I'm a, Loon, are you drunk? I'm an electrician, so. <laughs> but Christ. a motherfucker will be like, Jeez. eat my pussy, and then they be like, I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, you don't have to stick your fucking tongue in my vagina like that. Like, you just stay up at the clit, actually go a little bit to the left of the clit. It's perfect right there. Suck, suck, suck. You have a sensitive part of the clit. Yes. What's the sense? So it's a little bit to the left is nuts. A little bit to the left. Like, just, just. So it's not the actual clit. It's to the left of the clit. Just a little, yeah. So is that so all right, right or your left? left. <laughs> 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 nah, real shit. I guess I'm, <laughs> so like you got so, your hood, right? You got your hood. Right. Your clit is right here. It's yeah, it's like out. just. Something like this here. A little bit to the, yeah. Because so here's the thing. Right here. Yeah, so like what I realized, like, hell yes, there's a more specific. So what I've realized through masturbation is that like people typically decide to go center. Yeah. But when you put a little bit more pressure on one side versus the other, that shit is immaculate. Yeah. So I noticed yeah. that too, that I will test around the clip. I'm still there, but I'm hitting the side of it here. I'm definitely hitting the top above the hood. Yeah. I'm trying to get like, the little I lift still, between yeah, the hood Yeah, isolate and the a very specific spot yeah. and you will see because the thing is people think the clitoris is just like, all right, cool, the little button. Like, no, like it's sensitive all around it as well. So when you focus in on that shit, yeah. I'm hitting fire. my baby girl. I'm hitting my baby decent. girl the other day. And she just loves serving me head. So one day I was just like, yo, I just want to eat your pussy. I just go down on her. Mm-hmm. And I realized that, yo, it's, yo, women are so, first of all, fuck y'all. Because every woman <laughs> is so particular, bro. Yeah. They're you not You can't creating. do them all the same, You bro. can't. So if you try to hit one with your universal play, they don't have, there's no universal remote. Sammy said remote. yes towards the left does it every time. There's no universal <laughs> remote to pussy, bro. So normally I get to suck in and you know there's a lot of attack. I'm on attack with it. But I laid off her shit and I literally was barely gracing her shit. Mm-hmm. Barely touching her shit. And I was just up and down, up and down, barely touching it. And she started moaning and shit. And I'm down there like <laughs> and she <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, 
Oh shit, that she, shit worked. Yeah, she levitated a little bit. She mm-hmm. left, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So shout out to that and shout out to experimenting and shit. But um, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you gotta be willing to, to explore left. for sure. That's why I love me a, mo- a experimental ass motherfucker because I'm an experimentalist. So it's like when you willing to like, all right, cool, we just gonna try this and I'm gonna like let's see if it works. Mm. Cool, because that's the only way you are gonna figure out what you really like. Mm. So yeah, um, I want to give a tip. I ain't I ain't do my soft yet. You ain't do your soft? No. No, uh, he just kind of elaborated on what I said. Oh, I did my hard. I did not do my soft. My no, soft no apologies. is. I don't like women that feel they gotta hate on other women. Not mad at that. I don't like. Like I remember dating this one girl. And she would be on Instagram and she would always talk bad about other chicks on Instagram. And it kind of just like, oh, why would she wear this? Or why would she? And she was so fire that I would be looking at her like, why do you even care what Shorty's doing? Like, why does it matter to you? You're so much above that. I don't enjoy mean girl shit. Mm -hmm. Um, And so when I see it, it kind of makes my dick sore. It kind of makes me feel like that's what you're doing to this person you'll clearly do to me mm-hmm. I don't enjoy mean girl behavior I don't enjoy the women like what makes you think that being mean to somebody especially unprovoked is something that's gonna make me like you I agree you know what I'm saying yeah maybe because if you're if you're saying that you're willing to do that what makes you think that I'm not looking at looking at that as a character flaw Mm-hmm. For me, that's a character flaw. You know I saying? think women that do stuff like that, be because of respectability politics, that's their way of saying like, "Oh, see, this is why you with a motherfucker like me as opposed to a motherfucker I don't like, that. like that." And it's it's super weird. I don't like it's like super that. weird because I feel like if you super comfortable in who you are as a woman, it don't ever matter. Who the fuck else but is it's around? Like happy hoes not hating. Yeah, like why? Exactly, like when you are a girl's girl, because I'm a girl's girl. Like I love the girls. I don't care about what another motherfucker going on because I'm confident in myself. When mm-hmm. you have, and it again, you could be the baddest motherfucker, but if you insecure up here, you're projecting onto other motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. So you gonna be like, yo, why she doing that or what? I mind my own pussy. Mm-hmm. When motherfuckers not minding their own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you look. Where the fuck just happened? <laughs> we just talking about other shit. She's like, listen, this here. Look, this is my, my concern. Right my this is bush. my business. I mind my own. I tend to my own. I make sure she's taken care of. Why do you have that much time on your hands yeah. to worry about what the fuck somebody else got going on? Yeah. And I always look at those girls sideways mm-hmm. because I'm like, is your coochie not good enough? Yeah. Like. How do you feel about your coochie? Because you worried about mine. Shout out to that. So I think <laughs> Loon already knows what I'm talking about. I don't like mean girl energy. I don't feel that. I don't. This show is about bigging people up. This show is about really like celebrating shit and why and opening your minds to fly shit and yeah. trying shit and shady shit. Like what happened in that threesome shit. I don't enjoy that. Mm-hmm. I don't enjoy it. It tormented me for for days after I heard it. Um, I had certain conversations that I was just like, why was it necessary? We never spoke about that before. Why did it need to happen now? You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, that, so that chapter of my life has ended. And, and I'm cool with that. I just, I'm not cool with people that feel the need to hurt other people to make themselves feel better. Yeah. That's corny. Yeah, so, it, it is. It's, it's, it's very much insecure as fuck. Yeah. Like, and you just gotta, hell, call a duck a duck. Motherfucker, you're insecure. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter what you look like. And it always be the bad chicks, bro. It always be the bad chicks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Loom. You said you had a tip. Sorry if I made it dark for a minute. That shit been bothering me. I know. You know what I'm saying? I got feelings. I'm a Pisces. I like shorty. You a Pisces? Letter. Okay, yeah, water I sign. Like, I like listening to letter. I, I feel um, what you think protective it is? of her. 
Satanic. And I don't like that shit. Huh? Satanic. <clears throat> I, I asked him that. what he think my sign is. He said satanic. <laughs> yeah. You got a little demon in you. So what do you think my sign is? Diabolical. I say Taurus. Cancer. Mm. I don't think she's cancer. No. You know, nigga? What is it? What you think it is? You were sad. <laughs> Aries? Jesus, nigga went through the whole thing. She I said, Libra. okay, water sign. Okay. You a Pisces? Scorpio. Scorpio. Child. Oh my, no wonder I don't like Scorpio. you. Damn, Child. get off the <laughs> I was going to say that, but I really don't know. I don't really don't know all the signs like yeah. that. I just I'm, a, I'm a Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, so my birthday is November 21st, so mm. right on the cusp. Child to my mom. Yeah. She was Scorpio. Scorpio sign, Pisces rise. Loon, you said you have a... <laughs> But yeah, I do so have a tip. Pisces rising. Um, you also, <laughs> it's funny because this is something that I've been doing for a while. And you saying it is just really refreshing to my memory. Maybe I should give this this game. Don't come into each game running your same plays. And I say that to say mm -hmm. before, exactly like what Tao said. Don't be coming in here eating pussy with your old finishing Hulk Hogan moves. You feel me? Before you, before I ever start really eating the pussy, like, because I start eating pussy after I start eating pussy. If that makes sense. The first two to three minutes, I'm doing a pussy diagnostic. You know what I'm saying? Love so that. I'm in there. I'm like, okay, let me see. Check engine light is off. Her oil is decent. She got washer fluid. Man, okay, what? Cool, cool. I'm in there, you know, and I'm doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? So after my brief observation, I'm now going to provide you with what I feel would be the best plays due to what it is I just picked up on. Mm -hmm. So my tip would be yo run that diagnostic man. You going to get you need an oil change. You, you you out here changing your rotors and you need an oil change. What the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, run that P that pussy diagnostic man before you start really eating the pussy. Pussy diagnostic. Stop, you know, is. don't just don't, don't be so horny. Like come in even I don't know you why start, you just said all this horny? car speak like bitches you know what I'm know about cars like that. Yeah, you know <laughs> I am about bitches. Cars. <laughs> <laughs> like nigga so he speaks some lashes. Man, like, what? Like, like, like that's you know what I'm saying before. Like right, before, shit out. before you put some <laughs> before you put a dobo in the gumbo, nigga, taste it first. You feel me? Like, so yeah, just run your pussy diet. Run your pussy diet. Dobo in man. the gumbo. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I do food. I'm a, yeah. I do food. Be, yeah, you, you gotta like yeah. I love a dobo seasoning. Now yeah. when I think about uh when I think about a, a tip, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I rather, when it comes to tip, I want to see physical tips. I want you to say, hey, do this. Lift your leg here. Do this. Do that. Like, that's the type of tip that I'm into. Now, I got a tip that I already kind of spoke on a little bit. Mm -hmm. But, Jody, do you have any physical tips? Yo, do this. This is going to drive her crazy. Do this. This is going to drive him crazy. You have anything like that? Also, let's catch, don't forget to catch Jody and the Battle of the Sexes tour. In your town soon. I hope yeah, yeah. Hit me up. I'm always updating y'all on Instagram. Instagram is where to really find me. Mm -hmm. I don't really be nowhere else. But Instagram, I be there. I like mm -hmm. Instagram. Shout out to Instagram. But I would say my tip is don't just use sex toys on like. Okay, so for example, a rose is not just for women. Mm. It's okay to use your rose on your guy. Where? What? On his gooch. Rose my gooch. That's interesting. <laughs> a new one? Sucking on the gooch with a rose is nuts. Yeah. Wait, so is it it's suction, right? Yeah. You've done this. Making a motherfucker twinkle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the so the reason the reasoning behind it is like again, everybody is not into anal play rimming going but, but um you know beyond the gooch however the prostate is mm -hmm. right there so you can stimulate the prostate by having it vibrate right mm -hmm. there and mm -hmm. suction right there so yeah use your toys on him mm -hmm. yeah sure. look at you this mouth of hers um <laughs> i ain't gonna lie to me i'm not sure if that'll work with me i'm willing to try it and I think that's what you have to do is to be open to different shit. For sure. You just got to be super open. All right, Luna, I know you got to go. I'm sorry, bro. Um, you got dip, right? You good? Um, but yeah, shit. Bring the goo. Bring that shit. Go to the sex store. Get your toys with people. You know what I mean? Don't be just backing out some shit that you had in the crib all the time. Right. These chicks be like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. But... We spoke about this today, and I think that it's the best tip that I could come up with. 
practice edging on your edging. partner. Take the time. Mm-hmm. Get them all the way. I do it. I do this often nowadays. When I tie women up, when I chain them down, when I put mask on them, when I use different vibrators and any other, a lot of time I'm getting the vibrator on there. I take it off. As soon as I look, they're squirming, squirming, squirming. Take it off. I let them breathe a little bit. Yeah, that shit them, is lit. Them. When you hit them back with it again, they damn near jump through their fucking ah, skin. That shit is lit. Tahoe ain't giving y'all all the details. If you dealing with a black woman and she tell you don't move and you move, you might get the shit slapped out of you. So edge safely. No, nah, I'm just edging it. I was about to say edge safely. You can't obviously you can't run any play with any player. I like that. So. You definitely got, player. yeah, like mm-hmm. you, you can't. So just know your partner, communicate as always, but it's definitely some ways to edge. But this conversation is also for the ladies doing shit to y'all niggas. Niggas love when a woman is taking time with them, yeah. doing things on them. It's, it's important mm-hmm. for a nigga to feel like you care that much. You're not worried about yourself. Very often, the chick will be like, I want to give you a head. And I'm counting the moments where she say, all right, I want to fuck now. Like, what if she's like, I don't know. No. No. I was about to say, I definitely done that to you know some motherfuckers. It's like, no, I'm only, no, I'm, I'm not on giving you. you no coochie. I'm you on are you. only getting throat. I'm on you. Mm-hmm. And she's titty fucking and she's necking and she's rubbing and she's massaging and she's, now, when I'm talking about necking and titty fucking and head, mm-hmm. she's got my shit to the point where I'm like, yo, yo. And she then lets the shit, the shit is twitching, twitching. And she lets the shit die back down. Ladies, when they do that little like arching they back like this. Then she gets it back I up. Like, she gets shit. it back up. <laughs> and she lets it die back down. Then she gets it back up. Now this woman's at this work for about an hour and change now. She's nigga. She's on her <sighs> shit. She done got oils and nigga. She ain't playing about it. And you're laying there, your body is twitching. Fellas, you ever twitched and not nut? You ever just lay there like and that's the thing guys think like so the same way women can separate the orgasm Orgasm. from ejaculation Mm -hmm. men can too they just don't always tap into Mm -hmm. it but edging is a great way for them to experience Mm -hmm. that like i remember uh, i got a homeboy that was like yeah she was like you know uh jerking me off and i like i I was nutting, but wasn't nothing coming out. Like, I ran out of nut. I'm like, you didn't run out of nut, motherfucker. Like, Mm -hmm. you were experiencing an orgasm without the ejaculation. Like, Mm -hmm. so you should be thanking that lady Mm -hmm. because she showed you something different. Like, you were experiencing the, the, uh, the euphemism and the, like, you were experiencing this heightened version of a sexual experience that you probably wouldn't experience because you used to, like, all right, cool, I'm done. I'm good. Like, so, yeah. Taking time with your partner. Edge them, bro. Take your time with your lady. Edge her. Use toys. Mm -hmm. Suck on her shit. Get her all the way up. Don't let her nut. Tell her she can't. Give her commands. You better not. She will fucking... A motherfucker tell me, no, you... A motherfucker say, you better fucking not... Oh, shit. Sorry, I did it already. Don't fuck Yeah, that's lit. that is my tip for today. Jody, it's been a pleasure having you here with us today. Y'all lit. I like you, y'all. You enjoy it here? Yeah, it's yeah. Good. It's good. lit. I they love it. I usually do. Yeah. <laughs> y'all funny. Right stuff. now. Jody, tell them where to find you on Instagram. Of course. So, Instagram, J O D Y P R H O E V O C A T I V E. That is Jody Provocative. Yes. Here in new york for her show this week this friday to any of our people in the patreon that are listening right now yes lie it's going to be so fun Mm -hmm. it's gonna be fun it's gonna be lit yeah where can they find the tickets uh city winery so the battle of the sexes show is taking place at city winery the loft so y'all can go to the website and just type in the search bar battle of the sexes or you can go into the link in my bio on instagram and boom pull up pull up pull up pull up um loom i know you're going to do do your photo shoot are you wearing your shades at night outside right now uh no only for for the show for the shoot okay well it's 
Love you being here as always, my brother. Of course. Um, Jody, again, it's been a pleasure. I got Thank, Thank you. you. And your mouth. <laughs> Thank you in your mouth. I love that. I to love anybody that. That's I love that my mouth gets show, its own shout out. <laughs> go hit us up on www.theheartofsoftshow.com to get tickets. Um, I know the fucking link ain't on there right now. By the time y'all hear it, it will be. To the people in the Discord, that link should be going up between tomorrow and what's today? Wednesday? Friday. It will be up within 48 hours. All right. We got all the information that we need. Hit us up and I'll see you there. This is the hard or soft show. <laughs> the show. Hey, you like my butt plug? I saw when you uploaded it on your story. I was like, what? Literally being, somebody wanting you, your face and their ass is crazy. That's not nuts. That's is fire, it? bro. Yeah, is it? This is fire. I love it. You don't love it? I don't know. Like, I don't know how I would feel about a motherfucker. Like, I got your face on this ass plug. I think it's sexy as fuck. I just don't want to fuck it. I think it's dope as like a, as a piece in my house. <laughs> But, right, but you don't want a motherfucker to actually have it in their ass. It's yeah. like, wait. Yeah. Now I gotta yeah. look away. Yeah, I'm looking at myself. I'm just like, uh, look at the shit that we done got ourselves into. No, for real. But I yeah. think anything with people's faces on it is damn near weird. Mm -hmm. Like, I be seeing motherfuckers. When you say freaky, what, what's, what's freaky? What you, what you mean by freaky? All right, if I do this, you're not going to tell your friends, right?